scenes we cherish, moments we savour, sounds that shiver the spine. As the tension rises and players dream of being this day's hero, the start of the next great Anzac Day clash is almost at hand. The weather is holding nicely for Anzac Day 2009 and Bomber and Magpie fans have packed the MCG to the rafters rafters for the biggest home and away match of the season and there's plenty at stake this afternoon both teams are in the eight with two wins and two losses so far as I say hello and welcome to the MCG it is round five it is Essendon versus Collingwood and a very special day on our calendar Anzac Day we are live right around Australia on 10 and 1 and also a very big hello to our troops watching in Afghanistan Luke Darcy and Robert Walls I hope, I'm sure these teams won't disappoint us. They never do today. Well, they don't, Luke. It's been close, hasn't it, all the way through these Anzac Day clashes between Collingwood and the Bombers. And I think Essendon have won six, Collingwood have won seven. We've had one draw. Pretty much wherever they are on the ladder, we get a competitive game. So let's hope it happens again today. Uh, I, I've seen Collingwood play in recent weeks. They're starting to hit some pretty good form. The Bombers are young and developing. Uh, their coach is encouraging them to take plenty of risks uh, to run the ball. We'll see that today. They'll run it through the half-back line. And uh, I think we'll get an exciting game. Out come the Magpies. As you said, Rob, 14 times these teams have played on Anzac Day. Collingwood leads Essendon 7-6 with the one draw. Yes, and we see Simon Prestigiacomo leading the Magpies. Out. 200 games and uh, unsung hero at Magpie Land. Yeah, he's in great form uh, in 2009. Only conceded the five goals in uh, in four games, and I'd expect him to get Matthew Lloyd today. And young McCaffer getting his first game for the Magpies quarters. Uh, it's something Collingwood do on a regular basis, isn't it? They put the young kids in on the big occasions and I guess yeah, to play in front of around 90,000 people first match uh, doesn't get much better than that. And uh, the reason why the teams are not going through the usual banners is we have a special joint banner this afternoon. There it is. So the two teams is, uh, well, just to... Uh it's a nice touch quarters. Yeah. I, I really I think that on, on a day like today, and we uh, we spoke with Shane Wakeland before, and he said uh, just for to him, symbolise what the day is about, isn't it? The occasion is in some ways bigger than the, the actual uh, four points that are on offer. But as you said, two sides in the eight, and I reckon this is a, is a really nice touch, and uh, it has just got that really special feel about it today. The, the two captains are going to shake hands and uh, and go through. Now, I, we got here very early today, Rob, and the yes. crowd was, it's like grand final days, isn't it? The crowd, they're out really early, they're milling around the MCG and the cafes and the restaurants around this venue, and uh, they've really, they're in their seats early, it's got a real grand final Oh, they're just waiting for it to happen, yeah. Pete, Peter Fitzsimons, he couldn't believe that people got here four or five hours before the actual bounce down. It's averaged 81,000 a match since its inception in 95. And uh, the biggest crowd was the first match, 94,825. Didac out, the big, uh, the big out for Collingwood League. And, and it is a significant out uh, court, as uh, we know how important a player that he is. Uh, Jackson Barham had a fantastic debut, debut last week, uh, nine tackles along with uh, a lot of possessions on the wing. Prestige Akoma and Lloyd, you almost think that's an absolute given. Uh, McCaffrey comes into his uh, into the side on Anzac Day for his first game. What a great opportunity that is, uh, Rob. Yeah, so we look at the Essendon lineup, and uh, they've got some young players there. Pierce, McVeigh out, of course. Yeah, McVeigh's out, Splattery in the back pocket. Uh, look out for Courtney Dempsey on the back flank. He's been terrific form, a real dasher. Uh, Scotty Lucas struggling at centre half forward. Matty Lloyd needs the one goal to get the 900 career goals. Young Alwyn Davy, uh, I think he'll be pretty exciting to watch on this firm track. So uh, it'll be a quick, fast game. Yeah, I was. I was thinking earlier, I tipped Colin because I thought it was going to buck it down today yeah. and they got the stronger bodies, but now it's dry, the weather looks like it's going to hold, Essendon come right back into the contest. Yeah, I think so as well, their speed will be a big factor, Adam McPhee there going out with uh, his uh, young child uh, on this occasion and uh, we spoke about it before, but David Hill for me is a big factor in this game, he's been really down on his numbers from last year, winning the best from Ferris, he needs to have a massive game for them to get over the line. What will Essendon draw from the win a couple of weeks ago against Carlton? Well, one, it was a big occasion. Two, uh, a, a, an opposition that uh, they love to beat. Uh, they did it here at the MCG, so that'll give them a lot of confidence quarters. And again, playing against uh, Collingwood, you know, that's uh, that's enemy. 
big crowd, uh, MCG, it doesn't get much better than that. And for some of these young players to play today, it's worth six or eight games in normal competition because it's such a big occasion and build up. McPhee playing game 150. We took it out to McCaffrey playing his first game. Barham's only playing his second game for the Magpies. I saw Jackson Barham play up at Brisbane last week on debut. He was very, very good. Um, the Indigenous boys, and I think there's four or five in this Essendon team, uh, they'll be really excited. They'll be as nervous as can be. And uh, I, I think Matthew Knights, it might be, hey, get the ball on the boot in the first five or six minutes. Give yourself a chance to settle down. Don't try to do too much. And then what I like about Matthew Knights, the Essendon coach, he really is encouraging his players to be bold in the way that they play. They'll make mistakes. They'll run and they'll carry and they'll handball and they'll get tackled because Collingwood's a really good tackling team. But they'll persist with that. And we'll see some goals that Essendon will take the ball from the defensive end through the goal sticks and it'll be done in, in a matter of eight or ten seconds. It'll be really quick footy. I noticed you when you were speaking to Matthew Knights, Luke, you're trying to get out of him whether Lloyd's going to play really deep again like he did against Carlton a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, and I know that uh, Matthew was saying uh, if you watch him closely, it's a 50-50 proposition. But I, I still believe, uh, Cordes, if he gets a matchup that's going his way, you've got to keep him closer to goal. Preston Giacomo is a very good player. Matty Lloyd kicks the first couple. Why would you want him up at centre wing? I'd want him one out and give him some space because he's still the gun, as you said before, Rob, about to kick his 900th goal. And, and Luke, what about the Ruckman? Uh, each team only got the one one established Ruckman, Josh Fraser and David Hill. Now, you're a former Ruckman. I think you'd be pretty happy if you knew that you'd ruck 80, 90 per cent of the game. It's what you want. Uh, these uh, two thrive on it. David Hill uh, can run uh, out a full game, but he is struggling. I'm really uh, disappointed his year so far. Fraser, on the other end quarters, is going beautiful. Well, as I said, guys, to symbolise what this day is all about, the, the two captain, captains are going to shake hands and then the two teams jointly will run through this special Anzac Day banner. It's one of the great features of Aussie Rules, the, the banner uh, for the cheer squads put, up, put so much work into these banners and this is uh, terrific today. It's a lovely touch, isn't it? And uh, one good thing about our game, you, you see Collingwood Essendon supporters walking into the MCG arm in arm and uh, let's hope we never ever lose that because whilst you can be really keen and supportive of your team, it's nice that uh, here in Australia we don't have barbed wire fences up and everybody can come in and be as one. Paul Medhurst there, number seven, uh, saw him play last week. He was the game breaker in Collingwood's win against Brisbane up at the Gabba. There was some doubt as to whether he'd play. I'm really pleased he's playing. And of course, he won the Anzac Day medal last year. So magnificent effort, the banner. It looks uh, magnificent. Listening in the sun now at the MCG. Yes, well, they forecast rain, but uh, not until about five or six o'clock this afternoon. So let's, we need rain, of course, but let's hope it holds off till then. Anthony Rocker out there as well. A lot of doubt uh, coming into this afternoon as to whether he was going to take his place. And good to see him out there, Court. A break from the MCG. A huge three hours coming up, live and exclusive on Channel 10 and 1. Next up, the observance ceremony. Welcome back to Anzac Day at the MCG 2009. It's Essendon versus Collingwood as we pay homage to the veterans who have served us so well over so many wars. And uh, there are plenty here this afternoon, which is good to see uh, Rob and Luke. There's lots and lots of veterans here. They've marched and are at the MCG enjoying themselves. Yeah, just wonderful, isn't it? You know, the respect that's shown to our veterans, uh, and it has for years and years, but I just think it continues to grow quarters, and uh, that's something we should be proud of. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the feeling uh, driving in to the ground today was just that sort of hair standing up in the back of your neck, and it is the most special day on the Australian calendar. And uh, also very special is the observance ceremony. And it's time now to go down to the MCG and the AFL's Master of Ceremonies, Craig Willis. Ladies and gentlemen, a guard is with us today in honour of the Anzacs on Anzac Day and all those who follow them in the service of Australia.
The Australian Football League, the Essendon and Collingwood Football Clubs and the MCC invite you to join the coaches, the players and umpires in honouring the memory of Australia servicemen and women who gave their lives for our nation. Our thoughts too are with those currently on active service. Would you now please stand and remove your hats for the Anzac observance. We welcome to the MCG today the Senior Vice President of the Victorian Returned and Services League, Vietnam veteran Robert Webster. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the year condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Catapult party! Eight, ten! Shut! Catapult party! Last post! Present! Up! Folk party! Eight Lest we forget. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the Australian National Anthem to be performed today by Corporal Roxanne Moxon from the Air Force Band, Force 10. Just give us. 
Peter Fitzsimons and I are at ground level. The silence of 85 or 90,000 people is a, a very powerful experience and then broken by a massive roar. But just how fantastic is it? I, I come from outside. I don't know who's going to win today and I don't care. It is fantastic to be here when you've got 92,000 people and the ground announcer says, would everybody please stand? Well, actually, they've been standing for two minutes. And then he says, please remain standing. Nobody sat down. I mean, it's 92,000 people as one being a part of it and respecting it and as I said earlier to be 50 yards from a flapping flag in among 92,000 people and you can hear the flags flapping is really something. Your second experience yeah. of this Anzac Day event in Melbourne and at the MCG uh, I suspect you're uh, you're reasonably impressed with it and the, the tradition and history it's already built. I don't think anything in the world's got anything to match it where you could get this many people this reverent and, and it's just a wonderful occasion. Peter, thanks for being with us again. I look forward to us being able to do it again at some stage. Josh Fraser and Matthew Lloyd at the coin toss. And I'm about to go upstairs and join Stephen Quartermain, Robert Walls and Luke Darcy. Thank you, Tim. And what about the, uh, the silence? It was, it was so eerily silent. All you could hear was the, the flag flapping and the wind just ripping through the microphone. It's a fantastic mark of respect that you can get uh, near on 90,000, maybe a, a few more into a stadium. They all understand the significance of it. Fantastic respect. And then the roar afterwards, Rob, is uh, it's grand final like. Yes, I think the crowd are saying, well, bring it on, bounce the ball and let's get into it. And it's just a see when you look into the crowd, uh, red and black and black and white. And uh, I would think that about Maybe 80, 90 per cent of the supporters here uh, are behind one of the two teams that are playing. Matthew Lloyd in picture there. Essendon captain. I really like the way he goes about leading this team. He plays uh, with vigor. He plays with aggression. Doesn't play the full forward role like he used to. Just needs the one goal to get 900 career goals. And there's big Anthony. He'll take his spot in the forward line. First game back last week against Brisbane. Probably needed the run. And uh, he'll just relish being here centre stage, MCG. Got Lee Brown alongside of him uh, in the forward line, uh, which is uh, an interesting start for him. Uh, and that on screen before was young Brent McCaffer. Gippsland under 18 previously. Debut on Anzac Day. Everyone remembers their debut, but there he is on screen getting a pat on the back from Anthony Rock. Another what? elevated rookie. We see so many of them these days. Yes, isn't it uh, wonderful for him? He's starting deep in the forward line. Mick Malthouse with the binoculars on. His 10th Anzac Day game. And uh, Presti, 200 games for Simon Prestigiacoma. And Matthew Lloyd's taking him up the ground to start off with Scotty Lucas right back on the goal line. So take Presti out of full back is probably uh, the order of the day for Matthew Lloyd. Bit of pushing and shoving. We're actually running a couple of minutes early, would you believe? So, not sure whether the umpire's going to wait smack bang for 2.20. Hope so, otherwise we might be little brawls all over the ground. No, we're going to go early. And Anzac Day 2009 is underway. Essendon versus Collingwood, round five at the MCG. Fraser against Hill. Lovett's in there, but picked up by Lovett Murray. Couldn't get a clear handball away. And it'll be take two in the centre circle. I'll have it. Let him up now. Let him up. Both sides got very open forward lines uh, early, creating uh, some one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Surprised to see Paul Medhurst starting uh, on the interchange bench. Bit of class there, isn't it? Uh, Davis and Medhurst, they won't be there for long. Hawking's bundled out of the way. Picked up by Cox. Davy Can't weave his way out of traffic. And the first clear possession comes Collingwood's way. Deep inside 50, McCaffer dives, couldn't take the mark, Fletcher's there, can't rush it through, did well to evade Rocker. Little tunnel kick, ends up in the arms of Zaharakis, he loses possession, Collingwood have got it 50 metres from goal, Cloak just throws it on the boot, centering kick, Thomas is underneath it, couldn't take the mark. And the Bombers lucky to clear there. Little toe poke kick comes out in the direction of Hill. Got a bad bounce. He takes his eye off the ball and went for Fraser. Love it, Murray. He tackles and holding the ball. Not great from David Hill there before an opportunity to really put his head over the ball and attack it. Took his eye off it. Uh, he's in poor form. And when you're out of confidence, that's not a good way to get it back. He should have just smashed him with his head over the footy. That's it, done. No more. Dempsey's got the mark. Centre wing. Move it on. Play on. There's Hill. 
Oh, he's hurt himself. I think he's twisted the knee. He is gone down with a knee injury, and it does not look good. And quarters, they've only got one Ruckman. Essendon's only got one Ruckman in this lineup as Collingwood, so that is a major, major controversy for the Bombers. For oh, this is this is real trouble for Essendon. David Hill, he twisted the knee, the outside of the knee he's pointing to. He's dropped the mark, landed awkwardly. And their number one ruck went off, and uh, Big Anthony takes a mark in the goal square. Jeez, it looked innocuous, didn't it? I yep. mean, he landed up and down in the same spot, but he just felt it straight away. Yeah, and the outside of the knee, Luke, is not a good sign. No, it's not. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be better than we think it is. Anthony Rocker playing at full forward. His opponent is Dustin Fletcher, so the two veterans matched up against each other. Well, Ryder will have to go into the ruck. That's their only alternative. As Rocker from point blank range to kick the first goal of the match, and what a sensational start it's been. Let's have another look at the David Hill incident. Went up with the one hand and just landed awkwardly on that left knee and went straight down. It didn't seem to be a, a jolt or a twist or anything like that, but now Paddy Rye's got to take the centre, centre square bounce. And he'll have to ruck all day. Swans away for Collingwood. From 60 metres out, he kicks into the pocket. McCaffer! Good, good start. What a good, strong one-grab mark by the youngster. It's his first game, but I guess, Luke... It's just such an easy centre break by Collingwood. Paddy Ryder doing the ruck work, uh, and I'm trying to think who can support Ryder in the ruck if David Hill doesn't come back. They might have to throw a Scotty Lucas on the ball and give him a run. And that's not a great option uh, for Essendon. And if you're Josh Fraser, you'd be sitting there saying, this may well be my day to dominate today. First kick in league football. 21-year-old Brent McCaffer. Has nailed it. Terrible start for the Bombers. David Hill coming straight off the ground. The doctor's looking at the outside of his left knee. Spent about two minutes on the bench then. Straight down to the rooms for David Hill. Into the rooms and Paddy Ryder now into the ruck. I don't know whether he clutched the back of the knee or the side of the knee. If it's the back of the knee, you, you get really worried. Collingwood tidal wave at the moment. Beams giving it off. Pendlebury placing it. And Brown, Lee Brown, taking the solid mark and wasting no time. Thomas trying to get to the drop. McCaffrey nearly did it again. Thomas contents himself with the crumb. Cloak dangerous if he can balance on the left, which he can't. Dempsey under fierce pressure. Throw in. Really interesting uh, setup they've got going there. Forward structure at the moment. Collingwood and Anthony Rock is pushing up the ground to centre half forward, allowing McCaffrey some space, Rob. Yes, and Lucas, the man in picture, he may well have to do some ruck work in this game. Rocker out of the ruck, almost. Swan to Cloak, knocks it forward, spills to Swan, who misses, all Collingwood early. Fletcher, Goes pretty much up the middle. It wasn't a great option. He's kicked it straight to the opposing Ruckman, but Fraser got run down. Lucky break there for the Bombers. Love it, Murray. Kicks it high. It's Lucas and Lloyd. One out with their opposition. Fall the ball. Tootie can't quite control it, does now. Back to Brown. His handball missed the target, which was gold sack. He keeps on going. Gathers now. Handball missed the target to Tootie. That allows Stanton into the picture. Did well get it to Monfries. Monfries to Watson. Watson to Lucas. Sun in the eyes. Backing back is Brown. He's tackled well by Lucas. Love it. Dispossessed. Davies there. So is O'Brien. And O'Brien steadfast in defence. And his kick hits the target. Well played. And he do it beautifully. They were all in forward gear. He slightly shifted into reverse. Tooby sweeps it to Barham. On the MCG for his second game after debuting so well in Brisbane. Love it, Murray, a bad miss. Lockyer trying to make him pay. And Collingwood work at forward. Beams more in hope than in particular management. Watson might have copped it high. Doesn't matter. Now McPhee down the southern side. Too strong, though, for Lucas. Shunted under it by Nathan Brown. 
So casual, Turvey. What's he thinking? Is a Sunday I picnic? Thought, I thought the whistle had gone. Zaharakis to McPhee to Lonigan. There's a whistle. There's an Essendon free kick. Yeah. Bombers can build from midfield now. It'll go to McPhee. McPhee started in the forward line, but with Hill going down, was immediately uh, put into defence because Ryder had to go in the ruck. Behind. McPhee goes long, looking for Winderlich. That's a strong mark in front of Goldsack. Gets it moving quickly. Ryder's caught behind. He flies high. Got it to Fraser's back. Ball still in play. Fraser wins out to O'Brien. And his kick finds Brown. That's Lee Brown. He plays on to O'Brien. Back to Brown. Back to Fraser. Over the top to Barham. And now Collingwood finds some space. And they're dangerous. Thomas flying down the members' side with a couple in pursuit. But he's got a little bit of room to spare. Hand pass good from uh, McCaffer, who's been in everything. Lockyer pumping to the goal square. Just too long, though, for Cloak. McPhee's probably got him for mobility, although not for certainty. Throw in. What we've seen with the Magpies, Tim, they are prepared to kick it long to a contest in their forward line. Young McCaffer, very clever there to get that handball out to Lockyer. Watson uh, doing the ruck work, and the Bombers... Taking it away comfortably this time as Jetta gets it back to uh, Joe Watson, who waits. Can't see anything to go to. Now Dyson. The late yep. inclusion too strong for Lloyd, and uh, Presty made sure he wasn't going to be able to back back. Mark Howard, you've got something on David Hill. David Hill back on the bench, guys. No strapping on that knee. He's up and about, so with no strapping, you uh, he might be back out in business. Well, it's extraordinary. He's limping. Just hope it's not an ACL. Just in the win possession. Dyson puts it inside 50. Lucas caught behind. Now the race is on. O'Brien's there. Davey. It's bowled over. Windelick. Good, strong stuff from Goldsack. Got it to O'Brien. He's under the pump. Lucas. Barham. Now an opportunity here for Jetta. Hemmed in on the boundary line. Oh, good squaring kick to Monfries. Free kick. Free kick to Essendon. Yeah, it was a certain free kick. When you make front on contact, uh, it's always uh, going to be a paid easy decision to make for the umpire. They created some really good space. We have a look at the replay. Marty Clark there going back and uh, giving away that particular free kick. But they had a good setup. They had some space. Uh, Scotty Lucas had a good opportunity, and they really need this goal. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, while the clocks tick by after the free kick, there's been about eight interchanges. The players just bolt to the interchange bench when there's a break like this. Angus Monfries. Oh, he's stabbed at it, and he's hit the post. Well, you're right, Quarters. He is a very good shot for goal. He didn't kick through the footy. Nerves. Was a tentative kick. Cox has to play on the kick short, gives to Tuvi. So Collingwood by 12 points, but just surrendering a bit of the momentum that uh, they had in the first three or four minutes. Now O'Brien. Magpies controlling possession here, and in short, Barham has had it a few times already. The Rising Star nomination after his debut game. Not his best kick, hanging it in the air. No one looking like marking it. Stanton has it to himself. Had time to wait for the right bounce. Goes for Lucas, but again, Nathan Brown doing the job. Getting his man under it. Holding his own ground. For Cox, now O'Brien. It was dangerous, and Monfries gets a second chance. Gee, and this time he misses by more. Cox's kick across goal was dangerous to a teammate who was under pressure. The way they prefer to kick the footy these yeah, days, they, don't they? The what's young wrong with the ultra game. I mean, he had time to steady up and straighten. <laughs> they you, uh, prefer the next generation, Rob, to snap it around their corner at every stage. We've been watching Daniel Motlop too much. That's right. From the kick in, it's snared by Clark. McCaffer gets it to Davis. A little twist and turn. Trying to get past Myers. Puts it into the corridor. There's bombers everywhere. One of them is Ryder. Is it off to Lonigan? Now Fletcher. There's a long, long lead. Loping after is Stanton. And he'll get there on the members' wing. Goes to uh, Lloyd.
Interesting just watching uh, Josh Fraser come uh, to the interchange. Lee Brown is going to go on and take this uh, ruck contest against Paddy Ryder. Ryder, third in line, got the best of it, but then gave away a free kick as he collared Lee Brown, no doubt about that. Magpie's ball, Cox opts for the safe hand pass this time. O'Bree, but there's nothing on the end of that either. Gee. McPhee takes an uncontested. Just look at Travis Cloak, he looks a bit out of sorts down there. Twice it's come into the forward line, he's been caught 10, 15 metres behind his opponent. Some mediocre footy being played. Another poor delivery, but it might favour the Bombers. Davey dangerous with his pace. Windelick, but well matched by Pendlebury. The Bomber wins. Zaharakis, but he's buried now. Gets it again. Couldn't give it to anybody. Gold sack to O'Brien. Stolen again. Windelick to Zaharakis. Good delivery. And the Bombers are a chance here. Myers lining them up with the man on the mark at about 48. They've wrestled back a bit of momentum, momentum uh, as we see David Hill looking on. Really good sign that he is back out on the interchange. You would think if it was serious, he might have reappeared. So quickly up for that's good news. But they've, in the last four or five minutes, been able to maintain possession, isn't it? David Myers with one career goal. Moment for him. Left footer. Just outside 50 as he lets it go. It's a mongrel. It helicoptered. It didn't quite carry. Sometimes the wind gets under those and takes them further than you expect. But another miss. The Bombers should have two or three goals. There's a big arc going there on that left foot kick. And it was accurate, but just didn't spin. Move it on. Play on. You. So the Pies bring it to the wing. O'Brien flies no mark. Now it comes out the back of the pack. Quick hands by Monfries. Again to Zaharakis. He kicks it into space. Lloyd's there. Good hands to Jetta. Concedes some territory and goes back to Myers. This time from right on the paint. Good kick under pressure, but misses. Had their opportunities, the Bombers. They've just got to grab them. They're looking pretty sharp, though. Jetta. Dempsey, Winderlick. And Ryder doing some heavy work, has laid four tackles for them. Clark pokes it in front of Beams. Dyson has him corralled. It's an important part of the game now when you've had uh, control of the football, scored four behind. So okay. if the opposition go down and kick one, it can yep. be very demoralising. There is the possession count for the match in favour of Collingwood, but I feel as though the last four minutes has been all lessening. Winderlich to Lonigan to Ryder, becoming a real leader. Jetta brought down, looks for the free kick and gets it. No, he doesn't. So a throw in. All Essendon in the last few minutes. Well played by Jetta and really it was, it was old Kevin Bartlett style footy. But uh, the free kick technically was there. Lonigan, terrific smother though coming from Clark. The rebound though to Stanton. Skews the kick. But... Lloyd has got it. Now will he go back and line up for his 900th? It looks as though he will. Bending it back off the left way too much and still the Bombers can't kick a goal. Well, they've got the jitters around the goals, but the good signs are they're starting to win uh, some contested ball, particularly around the stoppages. And Leon Davis to do the kicking in. He'll go and get a new footy. Rocker has a breather. Davis to do the kicking in. Toe pokes it to himself and goes for a bit of a run. Mine. And a short one finds Pendlebury. They've worked out well, Collingwood Anthony. On the southern stand wing. Kicks it long. McCaffrey underneath, it's got to be a couple and can't. Strong body, McCaffrey, isn't he? Yes, he's a strong young fella. First game, kicked a goal. Heath Hocking doing a tagging job on Pendlebury. And Lee Brown doing the uh, relief ruck work for the Magpies while Josh Fraser has a spell. Help. Clear wind to Ryder, but no escape for Dyson. That's interesting in itself. Josh Fraser standing up, ready to come back on. I've been watching Lee Brown just work. There's Paddy Ryder. Work him over up and down the ground. If David Hill can't go back on, Ryder's used to playing in defence. He'll blow up at some stage playing the ruck. Win in the ruck to Brown. Thomas to Swan. Couldn't squeeze the kick through. Now it gets through, though. Lee Brown doing well early. Fletcher and uh, Cloak both went to punch. Bombers cover the spillage. 
So Harakis did well off the left. Sets up Stanton in space. Good delivery for the dangerous Lovett at Lovett Murray, who can do some damage here for Essendon. The 50 wide open, they just can't get set though. And Lloyd has to retreat to Stanton. Excellent defence there from Nathan Brown on Scott Lucas. He had the whole 50 arc to himself in good form. He just beats his opponent one on one, but Brown got him in a position he couldn't get the footy. There is Lucas in front. Back of the pack is Clark for Collingwood to Goldsack. Throws it on the boot. No mark. Lockyer got bowled over. Umpire let that one go too. Davey to Lovett, who loads up again. Here's an opportunity for Jetta. No mark. Gee, they've had their chances, the Bombers. Now Davis kicks in the McCaffrey direction, but it's cut off by Dempsey. Now he's got leg speed to burn. And he hits Lucas on the chest. Oh, he spilled a sitter. The out of form Scott Lucas. And Brown gets a tackle of the fumbles. Scotty Lucas' confidence, Rob, it, it's at an all-time low. I've never yeah. seen him do that uh, in, a, in a game before. Or it just, just doesn't look like he's going to get the footy, does he? No, and Matty Nice, the coach, is frustrated because uh, they could have three or four goals on the board with the opportunities they've had up four, but haven't got any. Well, the Magpies work it out. Brown has been outstanding. Nathan Brown, in fact, uh, the Brown clan have really put their hand up for Collingwood in this opening quarter. Maybe it's that elbow, Rob. Yeah, Paddy Wright is not in the ruck. Paddy Wright is not in the ruck. So who's rucking for uh, Essendon? And Joe Watson says, I'll have to do it now. Mass confusion there for the Bombers. O'Brien wins the uh, the clearance for Collingwood. Dempsey, they did well. Love it. Murray trying to shrug the tacklers. Lost control of the footy as he did. <laughs> oh, boy. Paddy Wright has just got confused here. He's standing at centre-half back. Lee Brown's done well to drag him out. But, Paddy, you've got to actually get over and contest this ball up because Joe Brotson is a midfielder. Doesn't want to be taking that contested footy. And they've lost it, of course. There's Fraser again. Onto the left boot. Shanks the kick. McPhee attacks it hard. Spills to Dyson. And a bounce just inside Collingwood's attacking 50. I guess... Knights is saying, hang on, I'm putting a higher priority on you covering Brown than I am on the ruck contest. He's got to get a match up though, Paddy Ryder. Get someone back out of the contest. You pick up Lee Brown. I've got to be here at the ruck contest. You can't afford to have Joe Watson and Josh Fraser go out and do it. To the bench, please, mate. I think we've got to get a new footy. Yeah, the footy's been banished to the bench. So it'd be interesting to see now with, with time to do it so Paddy Ryder can roll over. Unless Matty Knights has said Joe Watson's our next best option in the ruck, which oh. is staggering. <laughs> Well, if you go, go beyond Paddy Ryder, who rucks, I reckon that you've got Lucas, and you might as well throw Take Lucas in to get a kick around the ground. Take pairs, maybe. Yeah, maybe even McPhee, but uh, they're certainly going down to C graders, aren't you? O'Brien to Barham. Didn't get the kindest of bounces. Gold sacks in there. Trying to get the hand pass to O'Brien. Now, Jetta. O'Brien oh, did well. Great strength and great vision to spot up Clark. He gets back onto the left. Handballs to Pendlebury. Yes. And he kicks, looking for Medhurst to just float it to the front. He almost drew Medhurst to the ball with that kick, Pendlebury. And Medhurst will line up from only 25 out. Terrific work here by Harry O'Brien. Odds are against him. Wins the contested ball, shrugs the tackle. More importantly, gets an effective handball out. You want the ball in Pendlebury, Pendlebury's hands every time because he uses it so very well. Six goals last year in this Anzac Day game, and he became the Anzac Day medalist, Paul Midhurst. No problems for him. Third goal to Collingwood. Welcome back to the MCG, and Essendon really struggling in the clearances since David Hill left the ground. He spent some time in the rooms, came back up. He had no strapping on, no ice. He was in full gear, guys. Tough to get a read on, but he, he didn't do any run-throughs. We haven't seen him move. He's just gone back into the rooms now, so tough to get a read on exactly what's going on with David Hill back in the rooms at the moment. Well, in 17 minutes between Collingwood's second and third goals, Essendon kicked five behinds. They should have done much better. They won some battles, but they're losing the war and losing it badly. They need a goal. Lord Lloyd's intention was good, it didn't come off. Prestigier came over to Beams, to Locker, on the break, the 50 open. Medhurst fell over, Slattery missed with his swat, and gives Medhurst another chance. He just misses. Jeez. You pack him with those. He's dangerous, isn't he? Uh, and I think the bigger the occasion, the more Paul Medhurst likes it. 
Fletcher. Long to right, a swan from behind does the spoiling. Davy. Handballs out to Stanton. And he kicks to Lucas. No free kick. Snaffled by Monfries. Looks for and finds Winderlich, who's within range. Have a shot, take the responsibility on. You're a senior player. I just love Monfries' left foot kick. And again, he caressed the ball softly, put it in front of his teammates so he could run onto it. We'll see it coming up here. Vision, lifts his eyes, knows he's got a teammate in front, softens the kick, lets him run onto it. Three goals in his four matches so far this year, Jason Winderlich. From about 45. That's a better kick. Harry O'Brien in picture on Alwyn Davey. That's the beauty of Harry O'Brien. He can play on the smallest Essendon player or he can play on a Lucas or a Lloyd. He's just got great leaping ability and great closing speed. The Bombers' first goal took 24 minutes. It puts them within nine points. So it hasn't exactly slipped from their control just yet. It'll be a second ball up here. Let's go straight up. Umpire Rosebury. And he sets it up vertically. Ryder, push and shove and a clean tap. Davey not taking it with him. His opponent, O'Brien, does. Clark, gold sack. Just delays. Thomas. Out wide for Swan and Collingwood are dangerous. Lee Brown on the lead. Swan goes for him. The ball hung though. And Stanton waited down at the front. Did it well. Delivers neatly. Monfries missed a couple of shots early. Chance to set something up here. The 50 looks good at the moment. He goes for Lucas. Nathan Brown makes the spoil again. The veteran fights on. His old mate Lloyd giving it up though. The hand pass not quite on the money. Winderlich, Lucas, probably too far even for him. Swings at Goldwood. No one there. O'Brien and Davey can't rush behind Harry. Davey brings him down. No support for, for uh, the Bombers. Collingwood have it covered. Tuvi back to O'Brien. Still can't rush it through. Heat on now. Clark takes it away. Fraser. Needs to be clean. Ryder covers him well. Well done by the Essendon big man. It's called out. Great forward pressure there from the Bombers. Uh, started with Alan Davey. Just wouldn't concede right on the goal line. They pushed them all the way out. And in the end, Paddy Ryder able to force the ball out of bounds. Their effort's up. They just need some more reward for it. Well, Paddy Ryder's laid six tackles already, guys. That's his career best. <laughs> that is a fair first quarter. And he'll have to do it for another three with Hill off the ground. He'll have the hardest working game of his life, <laughs> Porters. Well, that was interesting. Just a skim of leather was still across the, the chalk. And until the entire ball is adjudged out, it's in play. So it's a ball up, not a throw in. Marty Clark, halfback flank for the Magpies. Two kicks, five handballs. Pendlebury, the banana kick from the back pocket. It's an interesting choice. Cloak does look out of sorts he does he got bench quarters he's been caught behind he looks lethargic he's been well down on form this year travis cloak travis you've got to come another meter travis another meter that's it take pairs with the football Play on. You. kicks to lucas works his way to the front no mark Pendlebury gets the free kick. Seem to be able to get Lucas one-on-one -on -one with Nathan Brown quite regularly at the moment in dangerous positions. Problem is, he doesn't look like taking a contested mark at all. They would love to swap that around and maybe get Matthew Lloyd in that position. He's out of confidence and that of his opponent is growing. Now Swan, a dawdle down the southern side. He's waiting for the construction he likes and he likes Thomas and the bounce was perfect. Silver platter stuff. Thomas centering for Cloak and this time he's got it. Gee, that was a fantastic kick there by Dane Swan. It was so smart to slow down the play. He actually pointed to Dale Thomas. He told him where he wanted uh, him to run. And then he kicked it perfectly in front of him. Adam McPhee had no opportunity. Really smart play. Did he actually create the bounce with his kick? Well, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, Tim. It was a very smart play. Talking about bounce, every time Thomas gets it today, he'll bounce. I reckon he loves the occasion. He loves to sprint. He loves to have the eyes on him. And uh, why not? 
Important kick here, the margin nine points. Collingwood with not too much to show for having the better of the quarter. Now they've got something for their trouble. That's a good goal, and the Magpies lead by 15. A break from the MCG. And after the first quarter of Anzac Day 2009, it's Collingwood 26, Essendon 11. Quarter time in Anzac Day 2009. 4-2 players are wasteful. Essendon 1-5. So 15 points. Pendlebury a dozen touches in that first term. Stanton 10. But the midfield at Essendon, obviously uh, not working as well as Bombers would hope because their midfield coach, Rob Scott Camprioli, was giving it to these young uh, Bombers brigade. It's something you don't often see. An assistant coach really getting stuck into his, uh, his line and he's working with the midfield group. And uh, Scott Camperiali, obviously unhappy, former Carlton Premiership player. Let's go down to Andrew Ma and Mark Howard. Thanks very much, Quarters. All the noise down here is about David Hill, of course. There was great uncertainty about the uh, extent of the injury through that first quarter, and we've got something to report about it, Howie. Absolutely. You saw him go down in about the third minute, Mark. He was uh, straight off the ground and grabbing the outside back part of his left knee. He had a chat with the medicos, went down to the rooms. He did come back up onto the ground and he, uh, he sat on the bench for 15 minutes. No strapping, no ice, but then back to the rooms, chatting with the uh, Essendon medicos. They're not exactly sure what is wrong with the knee, but they say it is highly, highly unlikely he'll be back today, which is a massive, massive blow for the Bombers. All clear over at Collingwood. They were a bit sore and a bit tired after the big test up at Brisbane last week. They're going to be monitoring their players carefully through the interchange. 21 interchanges in the first quarter of the Pies, 15 to Essendon, so expect plenty your rotations to get this Collingwood side through this match today. Paddy Ryder in picture, Luke, and I would uh, be very surprised if the Collingwood coaching staff didn't say to all of their players, you have to work him over for the remainder of the game. Run him, jump on him, tackle him, hurt him because <laughs> he's the only man that's standing in the ruck. Absolutely, Josh Rose is the man to do that and he should do that at the first centre bounce. J Paddy Ryder's not used to taking them, you try and make sure that he doesn't want to be there for the next one. Cordes is an old journo. Do you reckon no news is bad news when it comes to an injury? Yes. Let's hope not. Doesn't look good. Fraser and Ryder. Fraser with the run at that. Hocking brought down by Pendlebury. I hate to speculate on uh, the potential of an ACL for David Hill, but uh, from experience, I did one very similar. And they talk about just landing at that wrong uh, amount of tension, and they tear very, very easily if that's the case. The way he grabbed it, it just had your heart in your mouth. Hope I'm wrong. But it looked really bad for David Hill. Some high contact on Fraser. Swan gets loose. He realised the free kick was there. And the opportunity on. Watson's hand pass missed the mark. McCaffrey to Swan. Smothered. Dustin Fletcher getting it off. Love it, Murray. Floating it. Floating to Dempsey. Thomas got a hand in there. Got a second hand in there. Throw in. Josh Fraser dropped back to the wing. And it'll mean that uh, Cloak will do the ruck work. Play on. Dempsey immediately wrapped up by three magpies. Other thing Josh Fraser really should be doing is you just, you're going 150 metre run. Even if you're not going to get the footy, you make Ryder run that extra 150 metres because he hasn't got the support. Fraser can go off, Lee Brown can come on and help him out. Cloak with the head down. Got it out to Swan. He's tackled over the line. And there's a bit of a wrestle going on. Scott Pendlebury and his tagger, That's Heath Hocking. Like Pendlebury, 12 disposals in the first quarter, and uh, Hocking going to put a tight tag on him. Ryder, nicely done. Stanton knocked off the kick. The tackle's got a stick. Just went bang like that and then let him go. You got a Big opportunity, though, for Paddy Ryder, having said that. Great, uh, great position to be in. You've got the role to play in the ruck. He started well, had six tackles in the first quarter. It's your job. We need the biggest effort we've ever had from you. Maybe you can deliver. Cloak knocks it into the corridor. Taken by Fletcher to McPhee in game 150. Out into open space. Pairs. The run provided by Lovitz. 
Exciting stuff. Runs his full measure and chips to Lovett Murray. He wanted to keep on going, now he does. To Davey, will he take on O'Brien? To Dyson from 45, has a ping at the goals and misses to the left. Andrew Lovett involved in that inside 50, running out of half back. Only his uh, second possession so far in the game. Here he is. They really need him, Rob, uh, to be doing more of that if they're going to have any chance in this game. Absolutely. And what we'll see with the Bombers is they'll get dash off half back and then look inboard and try to get the ball into that central corridor. And when they do it, they really do open the game up and they can score from that situation. Swan and Davis share it. Collingwood by 14 points early in the second. And here's the 200 gamer, Oh, Presti. And he sells the dummy to Elwyn Davy and did it with youth in his legs. He gives to O'Brien, who goes to McCaffer, making his debut today, as Sharon Wellingham did on this occasion last year for Collingwood. And now Anthony. Outside 50, Magpies pressing, Medhurst. Slattery did well. Contrasting styles. You see Collingwood take the ball around the boundary line. They'll take it from one end to the other. There's Josh Fraser. He's just loafing in the middle of the ground in the centre square while he'll let Cloak do the ruck work up forward. Fletcher nicely to McPhee. He goes back to the wing on the southern stand side. Lucas has got a lift. Brown's done him again. Got a bit ambitious with the bounce and then the kick. It was a difficult one to mark. Allows Davis into the picture. The Swan who squeezes the kick out. Thomas from behind can't take the mark. Cloak. Handballs backwards. McCaffer. Into the goal square. Thomas I oh, missed the mark. Lucky let off there for the Bombers. Bit of soccer play by McPhee. Now Lonigan. Fed it back to McPhee. And Essendon's done well here. McPhee kept on running. In the end, forced to kick hurriedly. Lloyd against Prestigier Como. Lloyd is wrapped up. Now O'Brien. Handball to Barham. Had a bit too much heat on it, but O'Brien is playing well at half back. Butters up. Now to Clark, and his kick goes to the wing and finds Swan. And Collingwood could be dangerous here. Swan waiting for the right bounce. Controls it. Has Cloak loose. Cloak can have a look. The 50 pretty crowded. Trying to find the right spot. That's just about it. Rockers there with a couple against him. Didn't look like it. Watson front and square. Good delivery. Hockey. Shaped to go one way. Came in board the other. Dyson confident. Through the middle for the Bombers. Their 50's open, but he needs to get his kick. Did it just in time. Lovett's there, and he's got it. And he can line them up. Well done to Dyson. Ran and carried and was intent on putting the ball to advantage. Wasn't going to bomb it away, and that's something that these Bombers will do under Matthew Knights. We see Dyson gets the ball, and he wants to de deliver it to advantage. Not just bomb it Essendon's way, and he puts it over the top of Cox to the advantage, and uh, Essendon should go. Need this badly. Andrew Lovett knows what it's like to shine on Anzac Day. Here's a moment for him, and he delivers the goods, and the Bombers are within eight points. Andrew Lovett goals, and I'm not sure what that's about. Ryder against Fraser. Fraser couldn't find a teammate. Allows Ryder into the pitch at a hocking. Threw it onto the boot. Back inside. 50. Oh, that's a good diving mark. Taken by Lonigan. He's about 48 metres out. 50, is it? Now blown time on. Come back around. No. That's it there. Taking his time now, Sam Lonigan. Had uh, some one on one leads uh, available. So go back now and make sure you can kick the distance and kick the goal. Good grab. Kicked nine goals in his 21 games of football before today. He's given it a good go. And it's back-to-back -back goals for Essendon. Right back in the contest. Well, the Prime Minister looks as though he's enjoying this. Who wouldn't? What an event it's 
become this big Anzac Day contest between Essendon and Collingwood. Rob going head to head with the Prime Minister at half time. Oh dear, does the Prime Minister know what he's in for? <laughs> <laughs> Margin two uh, points. You got your questions prepared, Mr. Walls? Yeah, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> Essendon within a couple of points. Good fight back after a blazing Collingwood start. Now O'Bree swings the Magpies forward. Cloak couldn't get into the aerial contest. Fletcher coolly weighted down and puts it out in front of Jenner, but he's got company. He beats them. Mown down. Play on is a good call there. He didn't have prior opportunity and he was trying to dispose. And eventually Essendon's pressure wins the day. Cox's kick out on the full. Well done, Leroy Jenner. That was a massive uh, two-on-one victory for him. His first effort to get the footy was great. And then he fired up, put some more pressure on. And it's exactly what they need from uh, every one of their players, Essendon. A few Bronx cheers for Scott Lucas, which is a bit, a bit unkind. I hope it wasn't from Bomber supporters. I reckon it was Bomber supporters happy that he'd finally taken the mark. Leon Davis, great skills at ground level. Now a little underground handball. Now what's happened here? Free kick for high tackle. It's a fend off yeah, back going, Don't argue. Yeah, going the way of Alvin Davey. They've really lifted their intensity here, the Bombers. He handballs to Lovett, who kicks to the tip of the goal square. Riders caught behind, staying down is Winderlich. Tuvi's in there. Got to be clean here. Cox looks a bit slow. Jetta. O'Bree. Handball in the goal square to Fraser. And the Pies out of trouble as he kicks to Thomas, who takes the mark at half back. He wastes no time. He doesn't like putting himself under a bit of pressure. Still kicked beautifully. And finds Rocker. Bombing it into the 50. Setting up Cloak. Has McPhee on the hop. Had Medhurst down, but the bounce wasn't kind to him. And the Bombers hold up. McPhee, Dyson, a little bit hairy, but eventually Pears gets them out of trouble. Hocking, pumps it forward. Now Zaharakis. As Essendon rebound, Jetta Cox with him. Cox did it well. Sets up Barham. Collingwood on the break now. Locker will have to be quick. Just got the kick. Did it well. Davis just at the edge of range out there. Tim, you said Essendon Harry when they bring it out of their half back line. Uh, they'll do that all game. And it's exciting to watch because, uh, you know, if a teammate's got a half a metre advantage, they'll handball to him. And when it comes off, they are quick and slick and they work it through that corridor at every opportunity. Well, they're just about back, Leon Davis. He's such an accomplished player now. That's the way to moz anybody. It's their seventh inside 50 this quarter for just a return of one point. That's a mark. Point on. Point on. Scott Lucas deep in defence. Point on, not 15. Point on. Is it back to Fletcher? Oh, the Monfries. That's okay. And that could be 50. Essendon supporters love that. I reckon when that was in tech, what do you think, Luke? You're our, you're our rep. Yeah, I reckon that's, uh, I reckon that's a little bit harsh, to be honest with you. I, I agree. I think he was in the contest and uh, followed go through the with spoil, the, yeah, followed through the motion. I reckon he's got that wrong. He dishes to Fletcher. He pumps it back inside 50. Winderlich in front. O'Brien, good tackle by Davy. Yeah, that's almost uh, intentional from Tuvi, but he did it pretty well. Tackled. And a throw in. Bombers half forward. Flank. That's a dominating position this quarter. And the trail now by just three points. Cox yes, to Goldsack. Now Windlick wins it back to Myers. Left foot kick. There's a couple of bombers there. They couldn't take the mark. Great effort by Brown in the end to spoil two Essendon players. One of them's down hurt. It was Monfries. No, it was Lonigan. Well done by Brown. He was brave, Lonigan, and he paid. And that is this game. So Essendon attacking, looking for the lead. Collingwood have a contest on their hands. Cox wrapped up with another rider tackle. 
Pendlebury paddling and just trying to keep it under control in there. Lonigan did suffer in that aerial contest as he backed back with eyes on the ball. So Essendon, for the moment at least, another man down. Let's hope that's not serious. Collingwood by three points. Beautiful day for this game now. Large patches of blue sky, some uh, sun shining through. Windelick mown down and didn't make an attempt. Collingwood's free kick. Now, they're in one of those situations. Tuvi actually took the punt, got himself into bother. But has some allies. Swan and Beams and Fraser. Couldn't get around uh, Lovett good, and gave it up. Good tackling bombers. To Ryder. Now Watson. Good move this by Essendon. Jetta, too far out to score. Just had to wait too long for the right option. Throw in at the 50. Thank you. Don't grab him. Don't grab him. So Ryder from Play behind. On. Tapped it down to Stanton. Ineffective kick. Winderlich stripped of the football. There's Lee Brown. He can't get a kick away. Watson in and under. Fed it out to Dyson. Quick kick. Love it. Murray might get an opportunity here. It'll swing onto the left. Now back to the right. Decides to handball to Stanton. He's hemmed in from a standing start to the goal square. And uh, Lucas has worked nicely under the ball. And it's a mark taken by Swan. Collingwood just uh, hanging on for the moment. It almost feels as though it's a matter of time before the uh, the Bombers grab the lead. Lee Brown gives to Lockyer. Of course, it can all change with one rebound, and Collingwood are doing that now. Dane Beams thinking about the hand pass, deciding on the long, quick kick to Davis. Rolled it down the arm, but then let it go. Got Dempsey covered. Rocker to nobody much. Davis fights on. Takes it a long way from goal. A long, long way from goal. But he's always thinking. McCaff has got it again. He lines up for his second. He misses. And the margin is four points. Just having a second thought about this again, how well Essendon are travelling. Wouldn't they love to have their big man David Hill out? The more I look at that, that can only be one thing. He's done his ACL and it has to be. And what a tragedy that is for Essendon. Best and fairest winner last year. Arguably going to be the most important player, and that is a disaster if it is what I think it is. Hope you're wrong, Dr. Darcy. Well, Luke's had a couple, so yep. I reckon he'd have a fair idea. And they, so that'll put him out for the year. Into the corridor go the Bombers. They will work it from half back into the middle and open up their options as they go forward. Myers did not get a kind bounce. He perseveres. Good tackle by O'Bree. Great stuff from O'Bree. Shades of Cyril Rioli in last year's grand final with that one just kept on. And now he's rewarded with possession for his team. Anthony into the pocket to Lockyer, who's got a panic. What's he going to do? He's going to square it up to Brown. In fact, it's Cloak who waited for the half volley. And Lydia, yeah. they've mucked that up, Collingwood. Well, two golden opportunities in the deep inside 50 that they've blown. Gee, it was well done by Bree, wasn't it? It's fantastic by Bree. Magpies have looked lethargic at times. They have. Maybe that game did take the sting out last Perhaps week. Perhaps so. You know, it's such a great win. A lot of emotion invested in it. Fletcher wide. Pairs. Bomb was a great opportunity a moment ago as uh, Myers contested on the wing. He had love it loose and there was almost a certain goal coming had he been able to get it to him. Love it, Murray. Bombs to Lucas. Nathan Brown, the spoil. Cox roving it well. Leon Davis having a good quarter. O'Brien, O'Brien, stabbing ball, just uh, too much stab, not enough altitude, pairs in the way, Lucas, and another cheer of encouragement, I think you're right Rob. Yeah, I he's starting to run into some form, three touches in about five minutes. And Matty Lloyd needing some encouragement too, well covered again by Prestigia Como, Clark mops up, Beam spilling it, Ryder arriving, Dempsey, Zaharakis, Essendon looking good again, although the kick's not great. Tuvi's in the way. He found one Collingwood player in the middle of three Essendon players. Matthew Lloyd hasn't had a kick for 19 minutes. Thomas gets past Zaharakis. Good. Ordinary handball. McPhee driven into the ground. Free kick. And a 50. I think Medhurst was finessing and not receiving the ball, but 
It was a finesse that didn't look right. Just a bit too cute, I think. So McPhee will be kicking from about 55 hours, just a tad too far out. Around, please. Thank you. 150 games, Adam McPhee started his career with the Fremantle Dockers. From about 55. He's given it everything. It's a good effort. And it is home. It's a goal. The Bombers are in front. So let's have a look at this, McPhee. Thumping kick from about 55 metres out. And just over the line. Goal umpire in beautiful position. And it's a goal. Essendon in front by a point. Mark Howard. Sam Lonigan back on the ground quarters. Really looks like he's got a problem with a cork right buttock, you would imagine. The doctors are telling him to keep moving, keep warm, and he looks pretty sore. Maybe the magpies are stung now. Beams delivering to Pendlebury. Good. Placing it well, and Anthony is a good man to receive the ball within range of goal. John Anthony needed to get into the game, Tim. He's only had the three disposals. Paul Medhurst has only had the two. And they are important to the functioning of that forward line. They haven't kicked a goal, Collingwood, in this quarter. We've gone 20 minutes. Kicking action of John Anthony is absolutely beautiful. So to regain the lead or perhaps square it up, tight spot, good kick, glorious kick from Anthony and the Magpies are back in front. Dustin Fletcher and Jack Anthony having an in interesting conversation. It's just so well balanced this action. You can see the ball hardly deviates at all over the boot. It's a really easy flow and it kicks through. Got great natural uh, ability to balance and straighten up in the kicking action. As a result, he's one of the most accurate players in the competition. Watson gets the clearance. Lucas against Brown. Here's Cox. And balls over to Swan. Who kicks to Thomas. Just a bit too much on the kick. Well, Paddy Wright is hung in there. Scotty, uh, well, Matty Lloyd and Presti Giacomo. Presti's had two disposals, Lloyd four, and Presti would be happy with that. Stanton, thank you. Free kick to Brent Stanton. Play Here on. they go again in the corridor. Yep, love it. Murray's found some space. Great kick. Yeah, moves it quickly. Lloyd against Prestigiacomo. Lloyd in front. But Presti refuses to be beaten. Just couldn't quite get it out of, out of the line. Out of the line, so it's still in play. Here's Dyson from 45. Throws the ball on the boot and kicks a miraculous goal. Dyson kicks the goal, but Matty Lloyd, have a look at him here. <laughs> He continues with the contest. Looks like it's going out of play. Flips it back in with the handball. Sets Dyson up for the goal. Haven't been a lot of close Collingwood Essendon games in recent years. We might have one here. The Bombers, a takeaway. Watson from a long way sprays it. And it's a Collingwood free kick. It's the last sub two goal result was Anzac Day 2001. There have been 15 games since then. Essendon won then by eight points. And the last one kick result was the famous draw. Back in 95. We might be due for an Anzac Day Saturday afternoon special. Here go the Magpies. Medhurst brought down, play on the call. Collingwood fans don't like it. Pairs to McPhee. To he's, Lovett Murray. He's angry, Medhurst. <laughs> Lovett Murray gives it up. Bad hand pass. They fight on. Myers, Fletcher, Zaharakis, no, rather Dyson. Lovett Murray. Now McPhee. That's a bad hand pass, too. And Pendlebury's got it for Collingwood. The Magpies reset. Swan goes for Thomas. Good spoil by Slattery. One on one now as it hits the deck. Slattery oh, goes to the boundary. That's red hot. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, the crowd gave him up. Paul Medhurst is an angry ant at the moment. Thought he should have been free kicked. Eddie thought he should have too. Pendlebury on the left. 
Brown was the third man up, flying high, couldn't take the grab. Fletcher threw it to himself. McPhee, it's a tired bodies out there at the moment. Few mistakes being made through wow. exhaustion, I reckon. Now Cox. Oh, that's a good kick. Gee, he did it well, Quarters, didn't he? Anthony's got the mark. He just pulled the kick, Cox. Essendon had the numbers back. If you have, if we can get the Essendon players, they're exhausted they down are. there. I reckon they're making some bad errors. Just through, just too tired. To... Well, there's about seven of them with hands on hips. Uh, as Anthony goes back to have his shot for goal, because they've had to do some pretty strong defensive work. So Anthony for his second for this term to put the Magpies back in front. Your attempt to make him the AFL's goal kicking poster boys brought <laughs> him undone. To gonna, Despite his good kicking, he's converting at 57% this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, his pre-season form was a bit more accurate than that, but technically he's good. He's just missing a few. Stanton, good attacking hand pass. Lovett Murray is not so good. Beams brought down by Lovett, but got it off to Barham. Collingwood are on the build. Medhurst loose. Can't break. But can see possibilities ahead. And Jack's got it again. The Jack attacks on. There's some real holes uh, opening up in the Essendon defence. They've got away with a couple where they've had uh, their forward line opponents in plenty of space. But if you keep giving... Good players like Medhurst. There he is with two metres of space. And Anthony again, look at that. Too much space inside 50. You're going to get hurt at some stage. Just a beautiful kick by Medhurst. Well weighted. Essendon can't afford to turn the ball over because one thing they do, they run with a swarm of numbers out of the back line. If they turn it over, they're caught out of position on the Collingwood rebound. Won't miss twice in a row, will he? Of course he won't. Right through the middle. Magpies by a goal. Anthony two. Paddy Ryder, the makeshift ruckman, doing well. Jack Anthony, good second quarter. He's kicked two goals and a poster. Collingwood lead by six points. Paddy Ryder's been really good, having to uh, ruck this first half in the absence of David Hill. Fraser, the tap to Pendlebury. Leading stat getters for Collingwood, 18 to Swan, 15 to Pendlebury. So they've done a good job this quarter on Pendlebury. He had a dozen in the first term, just three this quarter. McPhee and Stanton and Lovett Murray, all 14 apiece for Essendon. McPhee, 11 this quarter. Stanton, good kick out wide to Watson. Now the lead's on from Lucas, that's ignored. Watson goes into the corridor to Monfries. Great kick. He's been criticised uh, in the past, Joe Watson, uh, not going to be a 50-metre penalty, which is the right decision for his, uh, I suppose, lack of ability to use it by foot. But he weighed that up really well and weighted it perfectly. There he is, Joe Watson. Well, he's a pretty good kick, Monfries. He's just within his range, I think. He's a real chance here. Joe Watson set the kick up. Number one clearance player for the Bombers. Angus Monfries, two points so far in the match. Scores level. Worth taking another look at this kick from Joe Watson. Had time to sum it up and wait, and he was demanding that a lead came at him. But to pick out Monfries in between three Collingwood defenders, that is a very good kick. His once malign kicking has improved. Fraser beats his opponent Ryder, but Hocking takes it away for the Bombers. And they make another charge late in this first half. And they will probably have the last scoring opportunity. Perhaps if Collingwood did everything right, they might be able to put their noses in front. We could be going to half time with scores level. Fraser edging his man out. Watson again doing the ruck work. Collingwood control the footy. Pendlebury on his wrong side, giving it up to O'Bree under pressure. And there'll be a ball up. Uh, gee, they've been good, Essendon. Their tackling's been strong, and uh, there we've got a shot of uh, Fletcher. They've got an extra man in defence, the Bombers, and uh, that's McPhee just back a bit from Fletcher. And they're just patrolling around the middle of the ground. Last charge with the Bombers, but there's a high tackle. Collingwood's ball, and you'd think that would be that. So it's going to be all tied up at half-time. Six apiece.
in Anzac Day 2009. We're going to take a break from the MCG. When we come back, we'll speak to the Prime Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd. Massive crowd at the MCG for Anzac Day 2009, and they're seeing a really good contest. 6 6 42 apiece between Essendon and Collingwood. Bad news for the Bombers is that David Hill, their star ruckman, best and fairest winner from last year, has done his knee in a bad way and looks like he will miss the remainder of the year. Paddy Ryder, though, has done a wonderful job, Rob, in the in the ruck against Josh Fraser. He's been really good, Paddy Ryder. It'll be interesting to see if he can uh, keep it going, but uh, I think he likes the freedom. I'm not sure he likes the centre bounce where you've got to jump against bigger opponents, but he certainly loves the freedom around the ground. He did do a bit of ruck work for Essendon over the last couple of years before they tried to set him at centre-half back. And the weather has held out beautifully, Tim, so far. It's sunshine and where did all the rain and sleet go that was predicted. I think they pushed it all back a bit, didn't they? And uh, it is due to hit with a vengeance tomorrow. The light's coming on, though. Uh, the MCC anticipating that it might be getting dark early as the second half starts. Right. Stand up. Scores level. And an stand up. initial standoff. Thanks. Luke, the Fords haven't fired much of a shot, have they? No, they haven't. Uh, they've had their opportunities and the, their space. Some of the delivery hasn't been perhaps what you would want, but that might be the difference. Whoever gets their forward line up and running might run away with this. Fraser working hard, rucking and then uh, winning a contested ball and the Bombers eventually oh, prevail at the clearance. McPhee in front of Lloyd, an awkward one. Barham almost stolen by Davey. Bombers with some numbers there, but Barham intervenes. Hocking just squeezing it out. Dyson who's done some good things and that might yet be one of them. Here's Lonigan, awkward position, two fencing him in, he does it! Oh, a little bit of magic! But it's across the face. It hung in the air and it wobbled away. It puts the Bombers in front it by It would have point. been some sort of goal, Tim. From our, from our angle, it looked like it was a goal, didn't it? But uh, just floated across the goal face. And from the kick in. It's worked to the wing by Collingwood, but Essendon Regain possession. Love it, Murray. To Stanton. To Dempsey. He lost a handle on it. Now Thomas swoops. Campbell puts O'Brien under pressure, but he's good enough to get it to Lockyer. To Clark. Back to Thomas. Now Collingwood have split it open here. Thomas will go into the pocket looking for Medhurst. Breaks the tackle. Gives it back to Thomas, who kept on running. And puts it out on the full. That's Courtney Dempsey's opponent there, Rob. And we're right in front of us here on the centre wings. We're watching Paul Meadows has got one in the head by the looks of the one to the head. He fumbled the ball, Courtney Dempsey, at half on the centre wing. And then when you do that, your opponent gets into it. Dale Thomas runs down and nearly kicks a goal on him. Just what Medhurst didn't want after being concussed last week. And he looks pretty sore and sorry for himself at the moment as Dyson for Essendon kicks to the outer wing. Marked by McPhee. It's been pretty good. He looks for Lloyd. No mark. Fraser, the big man does well to Clark. Not a great handball again. Watson spins out of trouble. Kicks to the goal square. Opportunity for Essendon here. Bonfries, but just a little bit too much on the kick from Watson. And it's a point. Really open game, this. There's no zoning. There's no numbers back. Everyone's playing uh, it on its merits. Paul Meadows coming to the interchange bench after... Uh, have a look at that knock there. It's a cheekbone, Dars. I reckon Medhurst didn't want to come off the ground, but the doctor was insistent in the end, and Medhurst has been feeling that cheekbone the whole way off. Well, he got the bad knock last week up there against Brisbane, and uh, got a double banger there. Face plant and a whack across the chops. See that 43 with a name uh, like Barham brings back some memories. The Bombers have got it again. Dempsey hocking, puts himself under pressure. Thomas in to tackle Dempsey. Slattery off to Fletcher, now to Watson. And Essendon's persistent, serving them well today. Watson needs to get rid of it. The red light came on just in time. Ryder, Stanton. Swinging kick, but to not very much. Gold sack, little tentative. Brown, Beams, Clark on the preferred side. His only side, really. Now Leon Davis in some space. Two against him. Oh, what was he doing there? Back to Clark. Davis has to fight now. It's a, a good, mess of that. It's a good question, Tim. What was he thinking, Leon Davis? 
he's gone for a uh, a five percent chance handball through the middle of two bombers and uh, just hit the brick wall. And Essendon, I reckon they need one of their veterans up forward I to just... uh, give us something in the second half. Lucas and Lloyd, cold as ice in the first half. One of them has to come good for the Bombers to have a chance. The same, Rob. I've been having my glasses on, Lucas. He is really struggling out there. Fletcher couldn't take the one hand up. Hairs. Quick recovery for Essendon. Yeah. Love it, Murray. He cleaned up Medhurst. Slattery to Stanton. Yeah. Now Hocking looking for Lloyd. Lucas, one out. In fact, it's Lonigan. My apologies against Tuvi. Lonigan does well to hold it up. Now picked up by Prestigia Como to O'Brien. She just swings from one half back line to the other. And now Barham. That is yeah. a shocking kick. He's turned it straight over. It's marked by Dempsey. Travis Cloak was uh, out on the lead there. He's also been really quiet, just six disposals. Here we go again. Essendon working it through the midfield with quick handball. Watson to Lucas. And the crowd become excited. 70 out though, too far for him. Right Sets it up and Stanton is it. Taking the mark, it is. At point blank range, and it should be an Essendon goal for the Bombers' biggest lead. And the bad news is compounded for Collingwood with Medhurst off and perhaps out of the game. You just see, if we look, it's a really good shot of how much space there is. You don't see that a lot in modern footy. That was the whole inside 50 available. Stanton good enough in the one-on-one. -on -one. Important moment here. Stanton produces the goal. Essendon lead by eight points. Stanton's first goal gives Essendon an eight-point lead. Seven individual goal kickers to the Bombers and Matthew Lloyd yet to kick a goal. They're away again, Essendon. The clearance to Winderlich. Looks for Lloyd. Worked under the ball by Prestige Como. Into the pocket. Oh, Tuvi went for the boundary. Free got... kick. Yeah, correct decision. He backed away from the contact there. Leroy Jetta. And Tuvi just paddled that out of bounds. Good decision from the umpire. No, he's been told to go. So he kicks the banana. That's across the face. And in the end, that's a disappointing outcome for Essendon. It was clever here from Jetta. He just went, I'm not going to contest this. Tuvi forced it out of bounds, and the umpire had no choice but to pay that. Cloak long for Rocker, but uh, Rocker underrunning it. McPhee, Essendon could do some damage here. It's getting a bit serious for Collingwood, and Lloyd has it. 40 out, and could this be the moment on end? Day 2009 for the 900th goal. Right, they're just dominating the corridor wrestling, just over yeah. it. Yeah, they bring it into the middle there, and uh, I like the theory behind Matthew Knight's coaching. Handball through the middle, and then you've got options when you go forward. Now we saw Lloyd lead up the middle, but if they lead to either pocket, they can get, they can honour the lead no matter which way it goes. Anthony Rocker needs to be put in the goal square because they are running off him as he plays at centre half forward. To join some of the goal kicking gods, but it won't. It won't straighten. His second shot for the day is another miss, and still the 900th eludes Matthew Lloyd. The Bombers lead by nine points. That was almost a nervous kick. Bit of the Peter Hudson's about it. Uh... <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's going for his 900th quarters. There's a bit at stake. <laughs> Hasn't had much practice, only 899. Lockyer throws it on the boot. Rocket could not. McPhee's been really good. Just read that beautifully off the pack. And he goes back into the corridor again, where Essendon have dominated. Mm. And here they come again. Dyson, a long ball. Lloyd against Prestigia Como. Davy swoops. Prestigia Como hemmed in. He's caught. Oh, it's penalised. Free kick. That is an outstanding tackle, Matthew Lloyd. Double back. Completely pinned Simon Presidier Como's arms and executed it perfectly. Will he kick 900 at this Pres time? Presti worried about the deliberate rush behind. For 14 years, Presti's been able to run it over the line. They've taken that away from him now. He had to come back and confront the opposition, and Lloydy stripped him with a good tackle. Will this be the moment for Matthew Lloyd for his 900th career goal? Missed it again. Three points to Lloyd. Medhurst back on for the Pies quarters. 
Perfect tackle. Pin the arm. Gee, that rushed behind rule changes everything, doesn't it? Defenders have nowhere to hide. Lockyer pumping long and high. Bombers intentionally taking it over the line to keep it in their attacking half. Inside 50 is just a domination by Essendon in this third quarter. If they could start converting, Collingwood have got a problem. Davis, Lockyer, Swan, Magpie takeaway. Lovely low flat ball, but caught. Oh, Cloak just stole it from McPhee's hands. Cleverly done. And Anthony, against the run of play, can have a go at them. It's a bit of a gamble there from Adam McPhee. If you're going to fly for the mark as a defender, you have to mark it. Could have smashed that one away 30 metres back. Mark and it could prove to cost his side. It out positioned Cloak, but uh, Cloak, of course, with extra reach, was able to make the steal. Now Anthony. And that is a lovely looking launch. He's done it again. He's third of the day. Cuts the margin to four points. Three goals to Anthony, the only multiple goal scorer in the game. That man, Matthew Lloyd, three behinds. And Presti, uh, there's Medhurst, he's come back oh, on. God. He's gone into the forward pocket. But uh, Presti, this is his uh, fifth game of the year, and he's only had four goals kicked fair. against him, the fullback. He's having a really good season. He's right on the edge of the big circle. And we couldn't get him. Always plays with touch on his opponent. Right. OK, Rucks. So Collingwood get the clearance. Swan, little chip to Thomas. Did he have the arms chopped? No. That spills to Myers. And the race is on here. It's Gold Sack. He did well. Mark over Jetta. McCaffer's on on the wing. And he'll short it to Beams. That's it, Angus. Beams coming up for his 13th disposal. Well, his long option is Travis Cloak. Kicks to the contest. In front was Anthony. Swan has 24. Pendlebury 19 for Collingwood. Dyson 20. Stanton 19 for Essendon. They've shut Pendlebury out of the game well since uh, quarter time. Yeah, Hocking's been really tight on him. Collingwood had an eight-day break for this uh, game in the lead-up. Essendon just a six-day break. Essendon got a player short in Hill. Davis tied up there. Gone for holding it. I was thinking earlier when he messed that play up over on the southern side when he had time and room to spare. Yep. He prefers it tighter and to be instinctive, but uh, it was too tight just then. Ryder, been gallant. Clever placement with the left foot for Monfries. Well done, Paddy Ryder. They're running two Ruckman on him, but he's still prepared to try and push out and help the defence. Those old pillars, Lucas and Lloyd are there, and Lucas it is who can line them up. Teammates getting around Paddy Ryder, so they should. He's been thrust into the ruck position, and he has done a fantastic job to compete, get his hand on the footy at the centre square bounce. He's holding his own around the ground, and here he is working really hard out of defence. It's been a big effort from him, and given the opportunity here to Scotty Lucas. So, after a, a modest day by any standards, let alone his own high ones, Lucas with a chance to kick an important goal. He doesn't. What he does come up with is his 300th career behind. 453 goals, 300. Scott Lucas's stats, bombers by five points. Well, Essendon before today were ranked after a month 15th in the competition with accuracy in front of goal, 52%. And so they're continuing that trend today. They have blown three or four golden opportunities from the kick in. They get it back. Watson to love it. Thought about having a shot. Dishes to Davey, kicks into the goal square, bounced over the head for a goal. Well, they caught one in the end. The long kick down the middle by the uh, full back. Collingwood had all the eggs in the one basket, about 12 players to six. They had to win it. If they didn't win it, they were going to get caught on the rebound. As they did there. Elwyn Davey produced some magic on this day two years ago. He produced a little more there. Collingwood now needing another goal. They can't afford to concede the next. Pendlebury towards Cloak. And he's got it. His height and bulk 
causing McPhee problems in those situations. One on one. And he was just able to get rid of him and then concentrate on the ball. Should kick this. What angle there is doesn't do the left footer any harm at all. Shane O'Brien. Shane O'Brien. You go in and touch Henry. To cut it to five points again. He misses. And so it stays at 10. Now, Collingwood's weakness last year, or one of them was that they were, yeah, they were producing some big performances in uh, very tough games and then some poor ones in games they should win. And this might be such an occasion. You're talking about the Nathan Buckley theory, Tim. And the Grant Thomas one. Thank you. Well, well, Mick, Mick Mouldhouse reckons the Buckley theory, he's naive to have it. Mark taken by Stanton to Ryder. Well, you couldn't say this isn't a big game, a big day. Uh, if ever the team's going to be up, I think they'd be up for this. Especially when they were handed uh, the withdrawal or the injury to David Hill, not to be able to take any part in the game. That happened in the first couple of minutes. Massive advantage to only have one Ruckman available. They haven't been able to capitalise on it so far. Cloak working hard here. Oh, well done by Lonigan. A couple of magpies have got to stop playing for a free kick. One's Medhurst and the other's Thomas. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, well Paddy Ryder. Yep, got the tap. Hawkins there. Soccer off the ground by Clark. Davey with great acceleration. Out wide to another speedster. Love it. He's having a bit of a run up forward. Leads on from Lloyd. Worked his way to the front. Gee, unlucky not to get a free kick there. As Swan chips to O'Brien, they've got Lockyer loose on the wing. Oh. Monfries came in to spoil. Lockyer still gets it though. Kick ineffective. Turnover. Love it again. Back into the corridor and mark taken by Jetta. Gives it off to Stanton. Into the pocket. Lucas caught behind. And Cox takes the easy chess mark. And plays on to Swan. Oh, great mark. She needed to mark at quarters. One Collingwood player in the middle of three bombers. Terrific effort. Lock you. And you will see Collingwood take it round the boundary line. So once again, we say it. Collingwood needing to kick the next goal here. Otherwise, it does start to get a bit serious in a low-scoring game. Gee, they crab it round the boundary line a lot, the pies. It Essendon. is a massive contrast in style, yeah, isn't it, Rob? Yeah. As you say, they just switch back into the middle. Uh, Essendon. We know Mick's been doing that for a long period of time. Play it along the boundary line, not go through the corridor. Ryder working hard with the body on Fraser. Brown forward for Collingwood. Lee Brown. McPhee shielding Slattery, getting himself out of bother. Setting up Stanton through the corridor again. That's on good. the lead for the Bombers is Lovett. His hands in the back, Essendon free. I think that'll be the call. Yeah, spot on. It's going to go against uh, Barra. Two clear hands in the back, Rob, wasn't it? Just a touch, but I think... Have a look at it here. Yeah, that's a free kick, as we know the rules today. I think it's going to Monfries for a chop-out, Rob. Gold sack chopping Monfries' arms. OK, well, I think there is one or the other. No, no, it is coming back to love it. And that looked the more apparent of them. So, uh, love it with the man on the mark at 45. If Essendon win this game, and I know there's a long way to go, yeah. I know who I'd give the Anzac Day medal to. The yeah, gallant Ruckman. The gallant Ruckman. The lone Jack, Ruckman. You You're going early, Rob. I know, I know. I've, I tend to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anzac medals rattling in their wardrobes as... The former winner, Andrew Lovett, from 49. Misses. The Bombers lead is 11 points. Gee, some opportunities have been squandered at both ends in this match, but more by the Bombers. Yeah, and they've just dominated the inside 50s in this quarter, Tim. Realistically, look, they're almost two goals up. They could easily be four or five goals in front. 20 scoring shots to 14. Again, Essendon have the numbers around the ball. Stanton, to love it, you might get another opportunity here. Surely this time, he's only kicking from about 40 metres out. Very slight angle. Shannon, that's the mark. They've almost got the yips, the Bombers. 
yeah. two eight to one yeah. one for the quarter. Fifteenth, ranked fifteenth this season in accuracy. They might slip down the bottom of the ladder after today if they don't get a move on. Essendon leads by eleven. Now you can make that seventeen. Very excited, uh, Andrew Lovett. Rob mentioned just how well Paddy Ryder about to see him take another centre square bounce. He's had 16 hit outs. Josh Fraser only 17. He should be dominating that Fraser. Gets another one, Ryder. 11 disposals and 10 tackles. He has been enormous in this game, Paddy Ryder. Hasn't been off the ground, played every single minute of the game. Well, he's had to, and uh, he's just been terrific for the Bombers. Some blood. Yeah, Lonigan, who copped a nasty one there, and he put his head down over the ball. And he did do that. The Bombers are doing it. They've got the sniff at the moment. Set him straight on, right? Collingwood kicked two goals before Essendon blinked in this game, and the Bombers had David Hill out of the contest with a ruptured ACL. Since then, Essendon have kicked 9 12 to 5 7. I reckon Mick Moldhouse should be going to Josh Fraser at three quarter time and asking for a, uh, a big lift. We saw Please it. explain. I reckon. We saw uh, Darren Jolly monster young Hawthorne Ruckman renew for a few, uh, few weeks ago, Rob. If you're an experienced Ruckman against the junior, you've got to dominate them. Well, they've stolen this off Ryder's tap. Leon Davis so often sparks Collingwood, but he fails to do it here. He's well wide. And still the Bombers lead by 16 points. But Fraser just doesn't have the physical presence of a Jolly, though, does he? He doesn't, but uh, he's an all-star player last year. He's enough accolades in the game that you really just have to physically take it up to a young Ruckman. He should give away a free kick at the centre square bounce. He's got to actually get in the face of Ryder and not let him uh, just waltz around and be athletic and play the game on his own terms. Because if he continues to do that, his side's going to, going to lose and his opponent is going to win the Anzac Day medal. Slattery to McPhee. Pendlebury won the ball to Cloak. It's in the Thomas direction. He might still get it here. No, ball goes over the line. So four and a half minutes left in this quarter. Collingwood labouring. I would have thought warm favourites in this game. Fraser the tap there, but to no advantage. In fact, the Bombers establish a clean break, or do they? McPhee took a long time. Monfrey's buried, pushed in the back. Untidy tackling. Essendon's ball, and they waste no time. Love it, Murray, gliding forward. Long ball, very long ball. Behind Essendon by 17. Gee, they can sneak another one here, boys. Mm. It's going to make it very difficult for Collingwood, the way they're playing. Low scoring match. O'Brien. Floats one to the wing. Thomas will mark. Swan offers an option, but he decides to kick to Fraser. That's just dreadful play by Fraser. Love it, Murray. Got it to Dyson. Oh, oh, speaking of shocking. Natural left footer. He's kicked beautifully today. It's when he got time to think. That's right. He's the late inclusion when Mark McVeigh went out. He's been really good, Ricky Dyson. Had the footy a lot. Kicked the goal. Thomas to Medhurst. Again, he plays for a free kick. And that's something that he had in his game before he came to Collingwood. I thought he got rid of it, but he's been looking for free kicks all day. He's had four touches. Rock has had four touches. And their forward line is really struggling. Gee, I thought he might have had a case there, but uh, there's no argument. Got the handball, play on. Perhaps just a flat-out stage. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So another ball up. Let's have a look at it again. Is there a little he's, bit of slattery hand in there? He's nearly wrecked his ankle because of the accentuated dive. Rocker. Rucking against Ryder, but Ryder beautifully yeah. to Fletcher and the old hand cleverly onto a soft instep. That was well maneuvered by the bomber defence. No, you come through, come through. So another stoppage play here at the 50. Fraser front position, but uh, 
again ineffectual as he brought it down another ball up the bombers content on thanks, just guys. holding the magpies up late in the term thanks guys straight back out this way just a bit wet i'll throw it up the rider again beautiful tap to dyson who let it slip through his fingers just under three minutes to go now until three-quarter time. 17-point margin is, is a big lead, the uh, quarters. But for what they've dominated, they've got uh, a side that's had a longer break coming into this game. They've missed some opportunities. I reckon one more goal for Essendon would be enormous for them going into three-quarter time. Oh, Collingwood will come hard in the last quarter. Those uh, fresher legs will mean plenty. Here's an opportunity now. Davis runs onto it and kicks the goal. Big goal. Very, very handy goal to Davis as we near three-quarter time. Essendon now lead by just 11 as Mick Malthouse watches on from the boundary. Ryder in the ruck against Fraser. Here's Davis again. And Pye let that one go. And Fraser. Nice kick out to the wing position. McCaffer making his debut for Collingwood today. Inside 50. Thomas stayed down. Is that out on the forward? He's as off Slattery's boot. It's a free kick to Collingwood. It's going to be taken by Goldsack. Midhurst was it. White. The umpire was awake to that. Tyson Goldsack. What's he do, Luke? Have a shot or set it up on top of the square? I reckon he set this one up. Decided to keep it in play across the face, Fletcher. Just a through for a point, so it's the Bombers by 10. Bad luck for Slattery, drop kicked it out. Relieved at the result. 10 points, a couple of minutes left, Fletcher cautiously to Stanton. A universal signal. Now Fletcher again. Both teams wanting to be careful here. Collingwood not wanting to let Essendon through. Bombers not wanting to make a mistake. Most teams uh, zone in this uh, part of the ground in this situation. Collingwood, you can see, they're going man on man. Only Dale Thomas there protecting space. But right across the ground, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And that's been the way the game has been played all afternoon. They haven't been playing like this, the Bombers, and uh, they just could get themselves into trouble. They've attacked bravely and uh, to good effect the feed to Fletcher it's a big minute this if they get a goal against them you'd say I reckon Colin would definitely run over the top of them if they can manage to work this way down Matthew Lloyd just pulled up a little bit stiff there if they can work this down and score I reckon mm. Essendon win oh he's been told just the card he's been caught he called play on and Lloyd I'm sure didn't hear it and I reckon Meadows got an elbow in the face then when he came in to tackle him. <laughs> it's a big play, that. It's a big play, Luke, if this becomes a goal because uh, they will be crooked on themselves, the Bombers. He didn't hear the call. Couldn't have heard it. And Medhurst just the man to seize the opportunity for Collingwood. But no, the distance too much for him here. Fletcher will be there with a the fist. And what a fist it is. Lucas is down the back. Thomas has got him. There wasn't much of an attempt. He's lucky to survive. Davis, clever centering ball. Maybe got too much of it. Swan from the other pocket for the Magpies. And the call from Beams. And he can line them up. With a handful of seconds left on the clock. Oh, the frustration of it for Matthew Knights and the Bombers. Scotty Lucas was pretty lucky before there. Definitely didn't dispose of that footy correctly. Should have been called and Dane Beams gets the opportunity to make them pay regardless. This will really hurt. So after the bell, just his fourth game, the youngster from Queensland with more ink on the arm than Dane Swan. He hooks it and he misses. And the Bombers still lead by a kick and a half. As we go to the last change on Anzac Day, Essendon 67, Collingwood 58.
you are what you say you are a superstar then have no fear the camera's here and the microphones and they won't Essendon captain Matthew Lloyd needs just the one goal today to become just the eighth player in history to reach the 900 goal mark he's had three opportunities but hasn't been able to nail it and at the final change we have got a game on our hands in Anzac Day 2009 it's Essendon 9 13 67 leading Collingwood 8 10 58 by nine points umpire contact's been a hot topic this year slattery on umpire Matt Stevick nothing in that I wouldn't have thought but you just never know It's actually interesting in the context of what's happened in the last couple yeah. of weeks. And on Monday night, our guest on One Week at a Time on One will be St Kilda's on ball and Luke Ball. So join myself and Robert Walls and Matthew Richardson on Monday night at half past seven on one. Let's go down the boundary line. Mark Howard, Andy Ma. This was great stuff, quarters. We know that Essen was embarrassed in this game last year all week. They've been pledging not to be let, not to let the club down. And as the players came into the three-quarter time huddle, Matthew Knights went and had a word of encouragement to every single bomber, touched every single one of them on the head. It's going to take a huge effort, Howie. We know they're hurting. Absolutely. They've got massive injury concerns. The bombers. We saw David Hill down in the two-minute mark. They've been a man down since then. Lonigan is struggling with a bad corky to his hip. Matty Lloyd also looks like he's got a bit of a worry with his knee and Scotty Lucas is not moving at all well so it's going to be a question as whether the Bombers can run it out and you would expect Collingwood to come extremely hard. Who are we tipping boys? Essendon's in front. I've got a feeling Collingwood might run over the top. I think they might have uh, just a little too much in the tank. Collingwood more rest, more ability to win a change. I think they might be able to run over the top Rob. They've had the extra two days to prepare for this game at Collingwood. They should win. They should. But uh, they won't necessarily, and this man has been a massive stumbling block. Paddy Ryder gives Essendon first crack. Cox needed sure hands. He lets in Monfries. Clever to Lucas. The veteran runs it and misses. Agonisingly. The difference, 10 points. He's lost all confidence. It's Luke? Five behinds between uh, Lucas and Lloyd. All gettable. All ones that you would just put down and say, they are your superstars. They've been the guns for... About a decade, and they're both uh, out of touch this afternoon. What a start that would have been for Essendon. Lucas again over the top was Tuvi, no Mark Davis. Started to find some football late in that third term. It's up to 21 stats, Leon Davis. Thomas back to Davis, who kept on running. Kicks to Clark. I'll take it round the boundary line, the Mac Pies. And Swan's been outstanding. Well, this will be his 30 second disposal as he gives it back to Clark. And the Irishman, the big wind up. Cross to face. And it's a point. That was a strange decision from Dane Swan there. It didn't give Marty Clark any advantage. He had to run closer to the boundary, take two steps, and kick it from further back. Dane Swan's an adequate shot yeah. at goal. And didn't really help uh, Clark's left foot. Strange decision. McPhee now. Kicks long to nothing. Not a great option. Oh, but a shocking bounce for Fraser. Not much going right for him. Ryder again to Monfries and Windelick. Now he's got the goals in his sights. Runs long. Gives to Watson. Places the kick to Lucas. Just a bit strong. And Clark, having had a shot at goal at the other end, clears from defence to Lee Brown. And Collingwood on the counter-attack. Medhurst shunted under. No free kick. Here's McPhee again. Had a lot of it. Fletcher. Dempsey. Attack and counter-attack in the final quarter. Big yeah. finish coming up. Dangerous kick. Numbers with, numbers with the Bombers. Winderlick got the hands on it. Oh, bad spoil by Zaha. Fumble by Zaharakis. Slattery. Magpies have got him in a gang tackle. Anthony to Medhurst and coming down with the flight. Pendlebury will have to work for it though. Here's a left footer. Waits. Kicked a little lazily with the right. Thomas gives it back to him. Threads the eye of the needle. Swan. Pendlebury still coming. Swan got it now for Cloak. Just missed him. Slattery. Watson. And the Bombers are off the hook. Oh, desperate stuff in defence for Essendon. Stanton finds Lucas. 
A long, long way from goal. And he's working hard. Always back through the corridor. You'll see it every Watson. opportunity. Just kicks in the nick of time. Clark will get there first. McPhee has run hard from half back to create the contest. Clark, well done, McPhee. But weight of numbers wins out for Collingwood. O'Brien stabs it to the wing and finds O'Brien. He gives it to Medhurst. He's got Brown in short. He goes the longer option to Cloak. Almost within range. He kicks back to Brown. And Brown will have a shot at goal. 35 metres out, 45 degree angle. This to make it a three-point ball game. Just on the rebound when they turn the footy over at the moment, Essendon, there's a lot of space for Collingwood players going the other way. They're tired. We know in the past they've worked really hard one way. They need to make sure they get back on the transition and pick up their man, Rob. They're getting caught on the way back, aren't they? Yeah, the Collingwood rebound's catching them out. Lee Brown has converted. Three points the difference. That's just the second goal Lee Brown's kicked in his third football life with Collingwood. I saw it, the match against Melbourne in round two. He missed a string of sitters early on. Was very nervous and frustrated, but he found the target there at a crucial time. O'Brien hoists Collingwood forward. Brown trying to knock it on. He hasn't had a bad day. The Magpie is starting to rise to the moment. There's a paddle out. A judge illegal by Matt Stavick and a free kick to McPhee, whose 23rd use of the ball is good to Winderlich. Has men running right and left of him. Cannon to the right, cannon to the left. He delivers down the middle to Lucas. 65 out, sits it up for Lovett. Hammering spoil low from the Magpie defence. Barham, who then runs on and pressures Watson, steals the ball from him. Well done by the youngster, there'll be a ball up. Well, you've got Lucas, the veteran. He's starting to come into the game. They need Matty Lloyd to lift. The skipper's got a lift. He's playing very deep in that forward line, back on the goal line. Matty Lloyd hasn't kicked a goal in this game and just had the seven disposals. Fraser, handballs to Tuvi. And out wide to Davis. They've got some territory here to work with Collingwood. This is where I've been uh, worried about them in recent times. On the transition now, they've got time to find a man, but Collingwood seem to be able to get free players here. O'Brien to Barham. McPhee, Anthony pinched it out of his hands. Well, McPhee knew he had Rocker, uh, sorry, Cloak covered his opponent, and uh, as you called quarters, Jack Anthony's come from the clouds to pinch it. That's who it's aimed at, Travis Cloak, and here comes Anthony. And Jack has kicked three goals, and you'd expect this is a soda for him. And this would put the Pies back in front. There it is. At one end, Scott Lucas relieved of his duties. But the other, Jack Anthony, has kicked four goals in a 19-goal game. A low-scoring match. It is a decisive contribution. Collingwood back in front. Love it with one arm held. Did well to get it onto his boot. Davey and Watson. Davey just couldn't find the handle. Barham, well tackled. Got into the back of the man over the ball. Jetta's free kick. Love it now. Tries one of those spectacular breaks. Couldn't get through the gap. Couldn't get a clean kick. Gives Jetta another go at it. He gives to Ryder. He deserves a go. And he gets it and puts the Bombers back in front. How good is that from Patrick Ryder? He has not been off the ground, that young man. He has laid 11 tackles and continues to work. Sensational stuff. Love it. Tried to take on everyone in the Collingwood team. Eventually, <laughs> he came out to Ryder. And the excitement, he doesn't show much emotion, Paddy Ryder. He knows how well he's gone today, Rob, and yeah. he is on fire. It's just a fantastic result and a terrific performance by Ryder. Odds were against him. I don't think Collingwood's worked him over by half. They really should have jumped into him and made life tough for the... Uh, for the young fella, but they haven't. And he's playing the game of his life, Paddy Ryder. What a scene at the MCG. Full house. Great great contest. Can go either way. Lonigan tries to get boot to ball. 
Zaharakis with his head over it. Davies in there. Pies fans wanted a free kick for in the back. None forthcoming. Let's see how Josh Fraser goes at this ruck contest. Barely got off the ground at that last centre bounce. Fraser the tap. Barham nudged out of it. Hocking to Lonigan. Inside 50 go Essendon. Lloyd gets their first, tries to tap it to Zaharakis unsuccessfully. Mopping up his Lockyer, who's usually pretty clean on his left. Looks for, Fra uh, for Brown. Fletcher got in there to make sure it went over the line. Throw in. Nearing the halfway mark of the final quarter. He's got his worries, Matty Knights. He's got a forward line full of other than uh, Matty Lloyd. How's Lucas going down there, Andy? Because I reckon they need him. Yeah, I reckon he's all right, Wolsey. He was looking about as fresh and as lively at any stage of the game as he was when he came off the ground. So uh, there's certainly nothing wrong with him. Uh, he's got some footy left in him for the rest of this match, I reckon. Very, very short Essendon forward line, but they're working hard. We saw Lovett work hard, two or three efforts at the footy, finally freed it up out to Ryder for the goal on the run. Another Essendon takeaway. Dyson onto his natural side, sitting it. Oh, arriving hard. Monfries waiting down. Jetta just couldn't break. Still, the Bombers are dangerous. Those ants can do good things, but Zaharakis just not able to get any hook on that. It's a Collingwood free kick. Essendon's lead three points. We have the tightest Anzac Day game in quite a while. Pendlebury to Fraser. And he'll run to receive. 26 disposal for Pendlebury. He looks for Swan, who's had a beauty. This is his 34th disposal. He's got Pendlebury still running. Tied kick, but it's come off. Marked by Medhurst. He marks his spot. You want the ball in Pendlebury's hands every time because he just uses it so effectively. And so Collingwood will give it to him. Slattery doing a lot of things right there. Took his eyes off Medhurst and he just bolted. Blood rule. I think it's uh, Monfrey's coming off. Well, they've done well on Pendlebury, Rob, since quarter time, but he don't want to let him get out of uh, control now in the last 10 minutes of the game. He can be a match winner. Lucas back on, boys. Not many options left to them. Medhurst has kicked one. This would give Collingwood back the lead. Essendon by two points. Well, the Magpies regained the lead early in the quarter, but they have not been able to overrun Essendon for a moment. It appeared a possibility. Time up for Fletcher. He has to move, and he resorts to the, the old-fashioned long one. Fraser and uh, Ryder. Oh, O'Brien's got it off a Lucas fumble. That could be costly. Harry's kick just offline. This is a point. Effort from Paddy Ryder was great, and he was out of uh, position, and he patted it back to Scotty Lucas, who unfortunately had another fumble. Mark taken by Davis. They've turned it over from the kick in. Rock has got the set here. Couldn't take it. Beams. In the back of the packs, McPhee under fierce pressure. Coughed it up. Thomas against Lucas. Thomas found Beams. Kick smothered. Bombers out of danger. McPhee a sweeping handball. Uh, Jenna who fell over. Tried to tap it to Davey. He's chased down by Goldsack. Forces another turnover. Clark inside 50. Good kick. Uh, taken by that man, Pendlebury. I don't know if he can get the distance. If he can give it off short, he will. Gee, they look dangerous, Essendon, when they run it forward, but uh, they get caught out on the rebound time and time again. Just the one goal in the first four games of this season for Scott Pendlebury. Had his career best match last week, 35 disposals. Today, he's coming up for his 28. Beautiful kick. Pies back in front. Phenomenal stat for a Ruckman, Rob, to have 11 tackles, the most of anyone in the game. He has uh, they've found something today in Paddy Ryder in the Ruck. 
Well, it's another hit out. That's 24 to Ryder, 22 to Fraser. Magpies back in front, but Essendon will have a go at it here. Love it, Murray. Long ball. Lucas up. Two Collingwood men against him as Lucas didn't really contest. And Nathan Brown needed to mark it. Bombers had the crumbing power. O'Brien to Clark. Accomplished player. He's become in such a short career in this sport. Leon Davis. Very wide. So a throw in on the wing. Right at the halfway point of the quarter. And after three and a half quarters of footy, Collingwood lead by just five points. Might be in for another Anzac Day draw. O'Brien couldn't break. Good Thomas Ryder again. Tremendous effort. And it's rewarded with an instant takeaway, or is it? Ryder's hand pass smothered. Collingwood get it back. Lockyer, Fraser. Now Davis. A momentary pause, and now Thomas. Lee Brown's on all, all on his own in the goal square here, if I can get it to him. Thomas goes short to Lockyer. Yeah, now the long ball in. Brown's chance. Gee, big Anthony needs a couple of runs, doesn't he? Puffing and puffing. Matty Lloyd hasn't had a touch of the ball in this final oh, no, quarter. Nice. I reckon Matty Knights could well give him five minutes just up around the middle. Just get him involved. Love it, Murray. To Watson, to Myers. Chased down by Anthony, but not before a scrubby old kick. Goes straight to Davis. The big wind-up from Leon Davis. It's home. Pies by 11. They love him, and well they might. He's a bit of a showman, but he does his talking with his hands and feet too, Leon Davis. A couple of brilliant goals. He is a game changer, and he puts Collingwood forward again. They've kicked four goals to one in this last quarter. Slattery, Swan's got him. Slattery getting rid of him. Love it, Murray. Fletcher. Had to go to the contest, and Goldsack made the spoil on Monfries to force the throw in. What do you think you do with Lloyd, Luke? He hasn't had a touch this quarter. They haven't got it down into their 50 very often. And uh, he'd love to be able to lead by example. He can't do anything if they're not getting the ball to him. And as we speak, he's back in the goal square. The only issue, issue being his Anthony Rocker's tackle, Rob, is that Scotty Lucas uh, is probably in, in worse form and not uh, going anywhere near looking like getting the footy. So their only chance, I think, is to keep him down there. They've got to take a risk. They can win a footy around the midfield and the big uh, superstar can kick a couple of goals for them. Stanton. Wrapped up by Cox. Clark. Just now Collingwood winning the vital stoppages. Ryder throws it onto the left. Zaharagas looks tired. Davey just can't pick it up. Now he does. Run down, free kick, holding the ball. And the pies away. And the advantage rule is invoked here. Dale Thomas. It's all starting to turn the Magpies' way. He beat off Dempsey with relative ease. And he can turn defence into attack with a long, Great. bouncing run. McCaffrey not able to hang on to it. He'll try and help Cloak out of this. Off Thomas's boot. Yes, free kick to Essendon. Or out on the full. Alan Davey down behind play, stayed down for a long while afterwards, but he looks as though he's getting the all clear from the trainers. Lonigan, nothing on for him. Done some good things, suffered a nasty head knock. There is just no run and no movement anywhere on the ground for Essen, and they've uh, completely spent all of their petrol. Stanton back to Lonigan now. Myers, they're getting themselves into a hole here. Stanton for Slattery. A little bit of breathing space. Now they can mount an oh. attack. He hooked it. He hooked it too much. And Collingwood can hurt here. Medhurst pumping it as long as he can. Putting Anthony out of position, though. Led to the ball by Pears, for whom the boundary line is a friend. Not a bad result for Collingwood, in fact. They probably should have had a lot more space inside 50 there, Collingwood. The only problem was the Essen defenders were so tired they couldn't run out of defence. Medhurst. Thomas. Oh. Kick smothered. 
Swans back on the ground. Handball's back to Brown. Could almost ice the game here. It's two goals to difference in favour of Collingwood. Davey's come off, guys. He looks like he's hurting out when Davey and it's actually started raining at ground level for the first time today. We will hold. Getting dark. Love it, Murray, for the Dons. The left-footed Dyson is there with him. Bombers badly needing a goal. They need uh, one of their veteran forwards, Lloyd or Lucas, to stand up here. Love it. Swings it to Love it, Murray. Last time Lloyd and Lucas between them didn't kick a goal on Anzac Day was 1996. Hocking, looping it. Zaharakis, a kick and a half out. Now, who can he put on the end of this? Maybe Jetta. Couldn't hang on. Lays the tackle. Cox big enough, strong enough, and good enough to get Collingwood out of trouble. Oh, was a close call there for the Magpies. Cox did well. Cloak. Just kicks and hopes. Medhurst. Good control of the football by Medhurst. Did it superbly to Lockyer. He'll short it, and he'll find Brown. And if he can kick this, it's all over. That was brilliant play from Paul Medhurst. Oh, wasn't it? Was. Under a huge amount of pressure and uh, really well called quarters. His control of the footy was uh, sensational. Here's Shane O'Brien going down. And didn't look a lot in it, but he's held his shoulder, so he might have just uh, popped his shoulder out there. So Lee Brown to put it beyond Essendon's reach. Handy point. As they say in the classic quarters, it is a handy point. If you're voting on the Anzac Day medal, Rob, uh, you had the early call on Paddy Ryder. Which way did it lean now? Um, well, I like the game of Swan. I like the game of Leon Davis. But I also like the game of Paddy Ryder, regardless of the result. Now that's out of bounds. Stanton are judged to have played on. And the Bomber fans, as you can see, don't like it. Collingwood continue to attack. Three kicks in front. Fraser to Rocker. And the veteran runs in. And he's given it. It's a free kick against Anthony. And he knew that. Why he went and kicked the goal, you'll never know. Because the umpire had already indicated. Anthony saw him. And he ridiculously ran on and slammed it through. I was running in with him. But then he's closer to the whistle, I guess. I reckon that's just great strength. Got to let forward and back go at it like that. Yeah, I tend to look. I tend to agree with you. I reckon Anthony Rocker got the best body position. I don't think it was in the back, and I reckon that rule needs some clarification. Well, it was, uh, the push was in the side, wasn't it? One of the grey zones, Das, for you and the the rules committee. Barham kicks out on the full, so it's the Bombers' ball just outside the 50. Harry O'Brien's been good. Free kick count, 15 to 7 in favour of the Bombers, so the meeting didn't work. <laughs> Watson kicks to the hot spot. For the ball, the crummers are calling with players and Beams threaded his way through nicely. Penalty to Davis. His kick is marked by Cloak and Beams, all of a sudden he's gone from the back pocket to the wing. Great running. He'll pop it over the top to Clark. And this could break the back of the Bombers now. If Clark can get a clean pickup. He runs to 45, and the Irishman misses. Good player. Oh, thank you, mate. But Essendon is running out of time. Keep going. Slattery has a long option here. It's Watson. Right on. Margin 14 points. The Bombers have under five minutes to kick three goals. They've only kicked one in this last quarter. Pairs from the centre line. That well, swings it uh, somewhat aimlessly. And Swan is able to short circuit the move. There's no doubt Matthew Lloyd has a crook knee. I've been watching him very closely. He's really struggling to uh, get going. You see that? He's got the hobble up. Well, it's going to be his third goalless game out of five for the season, Rob, uh, on current indications. Mm. Maybe he'll snare one, but uh, the 900 will still elude him by the look of it. And three out of five is not a great result. He has kicked, it has to be said, eight in the other two. Nathan Brown, solid defender for Collingwood. Oh, some high contact, surely, on Lee Brown. 
No free kick at 15-7 figure quarters. That's that's just consistent with the trend of the season. Ball up at half forward for the Magpies. Fletcher. Fisted it away. Stanton to love it. He gets past Davis. Great acceleration. Barham, he can't even catch him. Look at the speed of Lovett. He has about four bounces. Now on the left, kicks to Jetta, who can run on and kick a goal here and make it interesting. Jetta. Goal. Hello. <laughs> Great play by Lovett. He even outran the speeds to Barham with tired legs. And he set up that goal for the Bombers, and it's eight points of difference. I reckon Andrew Lovett would like the coaching of Matthew Knights, which is basically, if you think you can take the opposition on, do it. And he gives them full confidence too. And uh, that bit of bold footy is the reason why the Bombers got the goal. It was about an 85, 90 metre play by the time Lovett got it, ran, bounced three or four times, and then put it to the advantage of Jetta. Mark Howard, suddenly it's looking like a night game. How is it down there? Predicted rain all day, Tim. It's come in the last five minutes. It's really getting heavy now. It's extremely dark and getting greasy underfoot. Oh, you tipped this. You latter-day Mike Williamson. Beautifully done. Eight points in it. Bombers haven't given it away yet. Beautifully done by Watson. Goes to Stanton. Just couldn't hang on. Clark keeps him corralled. Stanton backpedals and then lofts it. Monfries is coming, so is Lloyd. Monfries very nearly snared it. Essendon still dangerous. Monfries back for seconds. Lovett has a go. Did he get it high? No, he didn't. Davis swings it out on the full. See it's that, a bomber free kick. They were stiff not to get a free kick there, the Bombers, for holding the ball. They were. It was a beautifully uh, executed tackle. And pressure right back on it. Ricky Dyson's got it. That's it. That's the one. As I said earlier, there hasn't been a two-kick game between these teams on any day of the year for eight years. Anzac Day 2001, it was eight points. Dyson is a left footer. He's the right man uh -huh. for the moment. He spears him home. And the margin is just two points. The Bombers from out of the grave. You wouldn't want the ball in a better player's hand. Suits his left foot, Dyson. And from the time it went out of bounds, ferocious tackling down there. Good tackling on uh, Leon Davis to swing him off balance. And Dyson was always a chance to kick that goal. A good chance. 27 and a half minutes have expired. No idea how long to go. Collingwood leads by two. How massive is this set of bounce? Joe Watson has created more goals from clearances than any other player in the competition. Watch for him. He won the last one. He's an absolute specialist at it. Here right he goes. of the tap to Watson. Didn't have it. Play on is the call. Love it, Murray working his way forward. He's been pinged for a throw. Ball, big call. And Collingwood will be in absolutely no hurry to do anything. Move it on, play on. He's been told to play on. Davis kicks in the nick of time, out wide. Penelbury, good mark. You'd want it in his hands. He'll be patient. Move it on, play on. Scott Pendlebury. Long into the pocket. Rocker sets himself. Cloak throws it on the boot. Throw in. Point would have been a better result for Essendon. Yeah, out of bounds, a good result for Collingwood. Might be time enough yet. But not a long left, a lot of time left. Fraser and Ryder and McCaffa try to paddle it to advantage. Ball slippery now. Been raining for a few minutes. McPhee gets Essendon moving. Love it. This could be the last gasp for the Bombers. Attacking at Monfries. Just fall to the centre. They're dangerous when they move it quickly. Dyson, Jetta, if it was set for him, he's got it. He's got the open goal in front of him. Oh, he couldn't get it out of his boot. Oh, the Bombers. Can you believe that? Oh, oh Can you believe that? He, it seemed like he had all the time in the world. Look at his slippery. That is incredible. It looked like it was a certain goal. Don't you love the way Essendon played that on from their defensive 50? Collingwood by a point. Lockyer brings it in. Ryder sandwich between two pies. Back of the Packers, Winderlich. Quick handball to Hocking. Back to Lovett Murray. He goes short. It's a mark to Zaharakis. Zaharakis has kicked the goal. The Bombers are in front of the G. Unbelievable 
seams here. David Zaharakis puts Essendon back in front after all looked lost. Stack the back line. Well, Look at him go down. The Bombers, there's about 18 players go deep in defence. Every single Essendon player is going to go into the defence now and try and clog it up. Sensational bit of play. Good composure there from Lovett Murray. And Zaharakis under pressure made great contact. Well, it's a magnificent fight back by a never-say-die Essendon. But Collingwood will have to ask themselves how they let it come to this. And Ryder rises to the heights again. Tuvi tries to crash through. There's that time. It's over. The Bombers have run it. <laughs> they have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. A magnificent Anzac Day win. The Magpies left to ponder how and why. Essendon by five points. Great scenes and well done, Bombers. They never gave up. Young team, back their coach. And they must have got that last goal with only about six or seven seconds left on the clock. Unbelievable. We thought, we thought the Essendon Carlton game was good a couple of weeks Matthew ago. Matthew Lloyd said it was his best win in five years. They've just topped that now today on Anzac Day. That will have to rate as one of the greatest victories for any one of these Essendon players. Against the odds, they had David Hill go down in the first two minutes. They couldn't make an interchange. Paddy Ryder, the effort that he put in across the whole game this afternoon was phenomenal. Well, in 2009, the Panasonic player of the match who win himself a 50-inch Panasonic Viera, a full high-definition plasma with an SD card slot. And the winner of the Panasonic Viera today will be the winner of the Anzac Day medal, Rob. So you got the day off as far as judging goes. But the winner of the Anzac Day medal will also collect himself the Panasonic Viera this afternoon. What an extraordinary game of football. Against all the odds. It's the Bombers' first Anzac Day win for four years, and it's the first one kick game since that unforgettable draw in 1995. Mm. A day that will have Mick Malthouse thinking long and hard. Down to Craig Willis. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by the senior vice president of the RSL, Robert Webster, to present the Anzac Medal for 2009 and I'm delighted to announce that the winner is Paddy Ryder. There you go, the judges got it right, Robert. Yes, I think everybody here today knew that it should have gone to Paddy Ryder. Against the odds, he stood up and uh, when David Hill went down in the first few minutes of the game, you just thought this is going to make it really hard for them. He had 13 tackles. So he worked hard, he did his ruck work, he beat Josh Fraser for the hitouts. Around the ground, he got plenty of it as well. Back to Craig Willis. And as Paddy makes his way down to accept the medal from Robert Webster, I'd also like to invite Robert to present the Anzac Day Trophy and acknowledge the performance here today at the Essendon Football Club and present it to their captain, Matthew Lloyd, and coach, Matthew Knights. I don't think Paddy Ryder knows he's won the medal yet. Might be too exhausted <laughs> to go and collect it. So mayhem here at the moment. The Bombers still deep in celebrations as Matthew Lloyd now makes his way over to collect the trophy. Look at Collingwood, they're just absolutely gutted. Can't believe it, Collingwood. comes over to Mick Mulhouse watches on what a game from that man Rob he arrived yeah. today as a player he did he stood up when he had to with David Hill going down early and Luke and I both thought good night bombers when that happened they started him in the back line he had to go into the ruck and he rucked for the entire game and he might have to for the rest of uh, season 2009. And I reckon it suits him as a defender. He's got to be reactive to what goes on with his forward. As a ruckman, he was able to just to be natural and flow and use his athleticism. 
he hunts the ball really well. It's great uh, stuff. I'd like to thank Collingwood. Obviously, you'd be pretty disappointed uh, coming so close, but uh, not getting the result. But I think we're even over Anzac Day. We really respect you as a club and look forward to playing you again later in the year and next year. To our boys, uh, we're working pretty hard at trying to get the respect back in the competition, and I reckon today we really did that. And uh, well done, boys. Hopefully, give us the confidence to move many steps forward for the rest of the year. And well done to the crowd and the Anzac spirit. Well done. Thank you, Matthew Lloyd. Congratulations to Paddy Ryder once again winning the Anzac medal. Commiserations. So, guys, we've got a minute to wrap it up. Uh, it was a privilege to be here today. Absolutely. And uh, to the Essendon Football Club, congratulations. It was such a brave effort against the odds, and they just stuck to the plan. They're an exciting team to watch. I love the way that they moved the ball quickly. Even that last goal, uh, Zaharakis, he just took off and put the ball on the boot, uh, threw caution to the win, and Paddy Ryder, only one of six players today to play every single second of that match. Enormous win uh, for Essendon, there's Matthew Knights and uh, Matthew Lloyd. You can see how excited they were on the siren. Enormous uh, win. Just also, feel really feel for David Hill at this stage. Uh, he's out for the season at this stage of his career. That is a real disaster for him. In every other sense, that was like a grand final. That moment, the jubilation, a, a rare scene, a magnificent victory by the Bombers. Anzac Day 2009. What a day. What a celebration. We hope you enjoyed it. It's goodbye from the MCG.